Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dungeons & Dragons The Second Age. How are we all doing? Uh, We're good. Pretty good. Good. Not, not yeah. long, though. Well. Speaking of which, does anyone want to uh, give me the lowdown on exactly what it is that transpired the last time we played? The last time we played? Well... Last time, uh, we prepared our ascents onto the mountain, uh, aided by our, our new, well, Clarice's new griffin, uh, which was very helpful, uh, followed by us to, well, trying to climb towards the fortress and somewhat failing at it. Uh, so, I mean, we, like, we, we nearly got succeeded. there. We nearly made it. Well, we... We fell onto we the fell wall. At the last, we fell at the last hurdle. Yeah, well, like we, we made it close enough to actually fall into the fortress, so that's good. Yeah. Um, once there, we got attacked. We fled down the wall, and we... Um, we Clara uh, smashed our way in the central keep. I guess, yeah, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, we got shot at by a tank. We... Well, yeah, Clara's... Just smashed through a window. I cool a uh, man through the window. Excuse yeah. you. Like a boss. Call it what it is. I I, ca I can't deny that, unfortunately. Um. I mean, Ferris did make it canon by yeah. <laughs> by oh yeah. Yes. It, so. Yeah. Fair. Yes. Um. After we got in, uh, we we tried to find the. I guess you'd call it the control room or the brain of the fortress. Uh, we seem to have found the control. The we seem to have found it and destroyed it. Uh, whilst Sorry. well, we destroyed some at least we destroyed some precious artifacts that can never be recovered. <laughs> uh, but also gained some intel and like we had no choice. We seem to have stopped the mechanical menace. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, yes, they. Uh, it the, the last thing that happened was the um, uh, all of the, the lighting inside the, um, the fortress seemed to uh, dim out and uh, the noise of pursuing footsteps faded to a, um, a couple of strange noises that you could hear outside. Um, you poked your heads around the door and saw nothing except a empty black corridor. Um, and I think that is where we will pick ourselves up. So, as the four of you are gathered in this doorway eagerly with, with bated breath waiting to see if the encroaching forces are still on their way, uh, you no longer hear the thunderous sounds of, of footsteps approaching down the corridor. Uh, and instead, um, there is a... Um, rather than the sound of blaring sirens, there is a low um, electric hum that fills the, uh, the corridor, um, as well as the occasional sound of... Um, what could be footsteps, but sounds more like perhaps um, uh, perhaps the routine uh, thumping of of machinery or something in uh, repetitive motion. Um, with that in mind, the the room behind you sort of slowly um, uh, the, the smoke in the room behind you slowly settling. Uh, what is it that you want to do? I mean, I was just going to uh, direct to the group. Do we want emergency uh, bailout ready? Uh, yeah. Well, let's... I think it's a little early for that. But yeah. um, we, we should... We should find a room where we have a, a secondary escape route in case they come for us, and then perhaps we can, perhaps we can prepare uh, prepare our equipment a little better. Take a moment. Well, well, well I... with the map. 
Um, yes. Uh, well, so what we, we what we'd be looking for is the nearest room that has either a window or a door outside, and like into the hallway, or even more exits and entrances would be good. Okay, so to find exits to the outside, you're going to have to go to the um, because you've uh, you've basically run towards the the center of this fortress. Um, you are basically pretty much central in this room. Um, the uh, there are several rooms on the outside, at least on this lower floor, that you um, um, could probably use to rest up in. Um, alternatively, there are rooms closer to you that have multiple uh, exits that seem to be a group of laboratories uh, that you could use as cover that wouldn't have external exits, but would definitely have like sort of multiple ways in and out. Um, depending on whether you want to go to somewhere that has an external exit or just multiple. Um, I, I guess external is not necessary as long as there is uh, like two ex two exits that aren't like to the same corridor or you know at least yeah so would it, like so if somebody enters from one side we can make our escape to the other. Okay, yeah. So um, there's a section of labs that sort of or like um, research areas that lead um, one into the other. Um, with multiple doors leading off into different places. Um, so you begin heading in that direction. Yes. Okay. Sure. Well, they say, assume there are the rest, like there's no objection. I like the idea yeah. of research rooms. Fair enough. Okay. So, uh, are you proceeding stealthily or quickly? Mm. There's no reason to go we, we, we quickly. Don't, we don't hear anything coming towards us anymore, so... Stealthily, I guess. I guess, yeah, we should definitely stealth if the... Well, as stealthily as we can. Okay. We're not wearing armor. Yeah, but we we'll put a lot of faith in our We can do slightly better stealth. Eh. Look, I will roll a 2 now, at least. Yeah. Instead <laughs> of a 1. <laughs> Great, fantastic. I'm glad this is where we are. Like that would be like it would be a massive improvement. Yeah. Uh, okay, so moving stealthily, um, you are checking your corners, moving cautiously through this darkness. Um, uh, Elizabeth and Claris, you both have lights from your weapons yeah. uh, to light the path in front of you, um, but. Aya taking the lead, sort of like peering around corners with her dark vision to check before you guys come up. Um, you uh, you make it through the the first set of corridors before um, uh, before Elizabeth. You notice something that is out of place that was not there previously. Um, as you are approaching the uh, laboratory entrances or the research area entrances. Um, there are a uh, a number of low uh, re sort of like a, a reddish amber colour of um, lighting that runs along sort of like floor level. Um, and as you raise your light to sort of um, look at this stuff. Uh, you see the uh, the glint of what looks like glass um, in one of the walls that you didn't notice previously, um, and it looks like actually a section of the wall has uh, moved uh, to reveal a number of like glass orbs set into the wall. Mm. Okay. Is this like, is this like out of the way, like not necessarily the way we're going, or is this like? Uh, it is directly between you and your destination. Okay. And then, I mean, either way, she's gonna like tap Aya because she's in the lead and point them out, and be like, maybe we should get a closer look, or at least be careful. Wait, 
are we? Oh, no, never mind. There's a little light there. You're also carrying um, lit weapons. Oh, yeah. Well, it, just because I thought we were going stealthy, I, I kind of assumed we didn't have any lights anymore. Mm -hmm. Or limited light. I mean, hey, my, lights are, my light is easily hidden. Yes. The, the the assumption was that Aya is going, checking corners, and then you guys are moving up when Aya oh. says the cor corners are clear. And it's as you come around oh. one of these corners. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So, so, yeah. Got these yeah. Got these Aya? Aya? I, yeah? What's up? Yeah. Poked you, pointed out things, and gone. Should we get a closer look? Or at the very least, be careful? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, we should always be careful. We don't know what's in here. Okay. Well, I guess when we move closer, is there anything... Anything more noteworthy about them? Uh, make me an investigation check. I can do that. Okay. God damn it. Your tradition of rolling terrible and investigation checks continues. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, my, my, my tradition of rolling terribly on anything, I have a plus 11 in. So, as you get closer to this, uh, the first thing that you uh, spot is that um, the layer of red lighting along the floor runs for... Uh, maybe about 20 feet of this corridor. Um, and the orbs line up with uh, one end of this light. And in, in the dim light at the other end of the 20-foot space of this red light, um, there is another set of orbs on the opposite wall. Um, as you look at these, these orbs, um, it's... Uh, they're they're basically um, what's the word? Uh, the, because they're embedded in the wall, they're basically like domes of glass that seem to be covering um, a uh, some sort of prism that is set into the wall. Uh, and there's three of them on each side, on each wall at either end of this twenty foot section. Actually, maybe I can draw this to give you a better idea of what this looks like. That so, would be. Sorry, have we been have we been able to walk the length in between these and nothing has happened? Uh, you haven't walked into the space yet. Oh, okay. I, I just I wasn't. Sure. Uh, yes. Let me let me give you a visual representation so you have a better idea. Because um, the part of me that is suspicious of everything is screaming. This is or was a trap. But I may also just be paranoid about it. I mean, there's also a part of my brain that's look, look at me going, is this just the DM over-explaining something that the characters don't know of, but we as players know is just a harmless thing? Well, it's in between where we need to go so and where we are, so we kind of have to do something. So, yeah, let me drag you over to this. Uh, so, the red lighting is illuminating uh, up the sides of the wall here. Uh, and then... Uh, yeah, bas basically set into the walls, like here, and here, are the orb sets. So, like, uh, when you say orb sets, do you mean, like, from top to... They were side by side, right? Uh, they are uh, vertical. Okay, so top to bottom, or yes. well, yeah. Um, 
Is there anything magical about them? Give me an arcana check. Yes. I will also consult after. Okay. Slightly uh, better. So, uh, giving this a quick once over, um, these things are um, possibly uh, foci or like focusing implements for something. Um, difficult to tell what kind of spell it could be. Um, but I don't think it's a spell you're familiar with. Um, don't think you've run into this spell before. Whoops. I still think it's a trap. Probably. Looks like a trap. Seems like a checkpoint of some sort. Maybe it's both. Yeah. Ultimate. Oh, like, it would be an ultimated checkpoint, so I guess I have to punish the. Yeah, it might be down somewhere. with the thing being destroyed. Could it be some form of anti magic. Possible. Considering there's two. Like, there's a set of orbs on this side and a set of orbs on the other side. There's some kind of magic, right? Surely. Um, what if each orb just created a wall? Then we'd suddenly be boxed in. We're mm. easily dispatched by security forces, potentially. It's possible. Possibly. Mm. Uh, I do wonder if it's still even active, though. Well, I guess the lights are still on, so maybe it's active. I, I, I um, imagine... It also there important to of, note you've oh. ran through this corridor previously and nothing happened. Oh, but oh, there was there was no the there way. was no red lighting and you didn't notice the crystals previously. Yeah, because there was bits of wall that have moved away. Right. It could be like a backup it, system. Yeah, it might be but... an emergency lighting. That was my first thought, admittedly. Uh, I don't think it's emergency lighting because it was behind it, a wall. Yeah, I was gonna say if it was just the red lighting, perhaps, but or amber, whatever. The fucking color it is, but like the orbs are kind of weird. They seem a bit out of place. Uh, well, shall we try fiddle with the orbs? Like, um, let's see what the, what have I got? Um, I mean, that seems like a bad idea. Well, like I mean, just poke them with uh, poke them with something. Like what? I, I think I have an old mace in my back uh, in my backpack. Mm. I. Uh, I've got my I've got my silvered morning star. Maybe something. I that's still not don't think it's metal. a good idea to just be like you know. Do we have anything that's not made of metal in case it's something that conducts well? We did um, see sparks earlier, I think, in the other room. Uh, yeah, Elizabeth got an electric shock for touching the terminal. Yeah, though in that case, maybe I should be the one to do it because if it's. Well, no, no for the because the ter that 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 up there, that cube terminal thing was different. Because that was a thing that was specifically warded for only one person to be able to access. No, but what I'm saying is it could be the same sort of... If you don't pass like, whatever, or if you trigger something, it may be the same sort of yeah. effect. Or similar. That would make sense. Like, why why invent a new trick if you think the trick suffices? Um, we have a wood, a wood axe. I assume the handle is made of wood. I would imagine so. So, like, wood doesn't conduct, conduct very well? No. Does anybody have just a staff? And not anything with metal on it. Well, yeah. you can take the head off the, the axe body. <laughs> oh, I guess or that's true. We could use a torch, even. Oh yeah, a torch. Torch feels a yeah. little too close, though, because at that point you may as well just touch the damn thing. Oh, yes, I could but... shoot it. Take the top of a shovel. Uh, just hand me the wood axe. I'll fucking okay. touch it or something. Okay. Or unless you want to do it, Grim. Uh, All I do is just poke at this. Well, like I'm. You can. You can go ahead. You seem. Like you seem. You, yeah. What is it? I mean. Uh, power proof. I don't know what you might call it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Electrical Shock -proof. power. Shock proof. That's what. That sounds more. But be sounds better. Yeah, we're yeah. making a big assumption about what is going to happen, but. It'll, yeah, okay. Well, as long as you don't bit go of, into the zone. 
no, I don't want to go into the red zone. So, so you're standing by the side of this thing and tapping it with like a three foot wooden pole. Yeah, and I guess like maybe also waving part of the axe, excuse me, into like the space that's kind of uh marked, I guess, by the red lights or the red the red okay. zone, but not going in it myself. Okay, so uh, you sort of reach out tentatively with a stick, wave it around in front of this thing, and then pull it back quickly. Nothing happens. Oh, that's encouraging. Okay, my turn for experiment. Give me, the, give me, the, give me the. Wait, well, you didn't. Wood. You only woke. Wait, did you, you, did you poke it, or did you wave it around in front of it? Oh, I mean, I can poke it too. I'll poke you've it only, too. you've only done the waving around. So. Okay, right, so okay, you're, okay, how hard I, are you poking it? We were... oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like a decent... Oh, hang on. No well, hang on. Can... Let's like, but... see if we can dislodge it. That would be great. Oh, do you want me to try to dislodge one of the glass balls? Well, hang um... on. I want to try. I want to try something. Before I poke it, or before I try to dislodge it? Before both. Let me let me poke it, not super hard, and then you can try your thing. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. like, I imagine it's all kind of done in the same motion of waving and then like yeah. poking it and then. You just yeah. go, dink. Nothing seems to happen. Yep. Mm. Okay. Look, just give me the stick. Mm. I mean, I hand it over. I'm not gonna like not give you the stick. Yeah. We're gonna cast light on the stick, and then it's like hold it in the red light. Okay, you cast light on the stick, hold it in the red light. Shh. Nothing. Okay, well, okay. it's not anti magic. I just, I just realized something. We still want to be. We probably still want to be a little quiet. So what I'm gonna do? Gonna, hopefully this will be fine. I'm gonna grab my bedroll and like try and shove it under with uh with the stick as well. Or I can still use the shovel. They've they've got the wood axe. I mean, you can take the stick. Like so, you're pushing right a bedroll there. into the red zone. Uh yeah, underneath. Well, like underneath the orbs because it's, okay. I think if we're gonna try and dislodge them and they fall and break. And it's, ah. if they land on something soft, they might not break and make less noise. Oh, I understand. Okay. Uh, yeah, you do that, nothing happens. Okay. So, do I don't know, like, I don't know how solid these are, but do you want to give it another go, Claris? You can reach uh, it a little easier. Yeah, you want me to try to dislodge it, just to make sure we're on the same page. Yes. Yeah, okay. so that's why I put like the soft material underneath. Okay. So I just want to make sure we're on the same page about that. So, yes. Yeah, okay. I will try to dislodge one of the orbs. Okay. So, guess, using a levering know. motion rather than a... Stabbing. Yeah, okay. Make me a... I'll say you have sufficient strength, so give me a dexterity. Just straight dexterity? Just straight dexterity, yes. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Rip. So, you jam the axe handle up against this thing and leave, and unfortunately, you can't get the right. Uh, you can't get the right angle to pop this thing out, um, and the pressure you apply sends. Fractures across this glass. Just. Oh, whoops. I will stop doing that. Well, does anything happen when the fractures? Give me a investigation check. Oh my god. Okay. Um. So. As you, uh, as you like, look into this thing through the the hairline fractures that have like split across this surface, um, you notice that almost minutely the um, orbs inside it are rotating, um, and the one that has just broken is now rotating slightly erratically. It's a little jerky. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, that sounds bad. Mm. I'll, bet, I'll bet you any money now this is just going to not do anything and we're going to look like idiots. 
No, I think it's gonna do something. Well, it's probably gonna do something. You know what? I think we might as well shatter it. Or, well, just throw, just apply more force, and if it just Why breaks, Why is your solution breaks. in this place to constantly break all of this, like, historical... Because it's gonna fuck stuff. us up otherwise. Yeah. I mean, look, if you have a better idea and you have a way of doing it quickly and it won't take us, like, an hour, please, by all means, but... I, I kind of wanted to be past here, like, um, like, yesterday, pretty much. Yeah, well, same feeling. <laughs> I mean, if nobody's got any better ideas or major objections, I will. I guess I'm yeah. just gonna keep trying, and if I shatter it, I shatter it. What's Step your passive perception again, Elizabeth? 18. Okay. And I'll wave my hand a little bit in the red zone. Why would you do that? Okay, you stick your arm into the red zone. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Nothing seems to happen. That was really stupid. <laughs> Yeah, just don't. Just I would recommend not keeping okay. on the thing. Four Besides, arm. There's, there's, Four there's, arm waggle. You know what? I'm gonna start pulling her back. Okay. Yeah. He put Elizabeth like leans out and you yank at her backwards. Hey. Now is not the time for this stuff. There's more of these corridors. I'm sure. Like we're not destroy. This time we're not destroying a unique thing. Rare yes, unique no. Let's let's get on with it, Claris. I I will fucking go for it, I guess. Okay. Uh, everybody, step back if you want to get stabbed by potentially shattering class. I'll start rolling up my my bedroll again. Okay. You pull the bedroll out, uh, Claris. You take a swing, crack the orb that you have already partially broken. Uh, just shatters and falls out. Rad. Uh. I need to... Don't like that. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, so... As this thing, uh, shatters, the, um... Uh, the small prism that's rotating inside, um, uh, the I guess actually probably you you wouldn't understand this. Uh, you as a player might, but Kalaris perhaps not. Um, the gemstone uh, collapses in on itself and turns to dust, and then just falls out. Interesting. Weird. While Grim's rolling off his bedroll, I do forearm. <laughs> Wait for four, so okay. slightly more of my arm in Stop the red it. zone. Nothing happens. I'll take a step into the red zone. Like, okay. you do realize, <laughs> no, I do, like, I would not be that distracted with rolling it up, let's yeah. be honest. Like, uh, oh well, I've been, I've not stopped you in time, I guess. Okay, so you've, yeah, you've stepped into the red zone, okay? Yes. What's everyone else doing? Uh, I guess face palm and say, well, I guess next time you're just not joining us if you keep up, keep this up. Yeah, um, like, this is not a fucking joke. This place could kill you. Okay. <sighs> Approximately three seconds later, uh, you hear, um, uh, well, actually, Kalaris, probably you watch as um, one of the orbs inside the unshattered um, Oh, sorry, one of the prisms inside the unshattered orb uh, turns to dust and begins to swirl. Don't like that. Um, um, I, am I close enough to pull Elizabeth out of the red zone? Okay, so you step um, you step towards Elizabeth, yeah, and reach out with your arm. Yeah, I'm gonna get fucked, uh, aren't I? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, n like, no more than like one foot like in front of you, um, your hand hits an invisible surface. Uh, fuck. Okay. I can't believe I described exactly what would happen. You described exactly what was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you described exactly what was going to happen. Um, I mean, I guess I push just to see if it does happen to give okay. away. Okay. Nope. 
Yeah, okay. Cool. Right, fantastic. Wow. I mean, I would like to point out there's still someone on the other side that we can't reach without getting without walking through here anyway. Yeah, except now we can't get through there. Um, Elizabeth, the chamber you find yourself in at the moment begins to hum. Hmm. Oh, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Uh, I just, that's the one part I missed. Part I'd like to cast... Um, can I Misty Step? Just to where the other... Uh, to the outside of the red zone, where the other lo where the other orbs are on the other side. Have... I didn't even know you had Misty Step. Okay. Uh, so, get, <laughs> roll me the description of Misty Step real quick. I think there has to be a door or window involved. No, I don't know, quite space I can see. see. Oh, never mind. I literally just I have thought, to see. Uh, I, f I thought the, the, the fortress was protected, protected against teleportation as well. I am not sure. That's a good point. Uh, one second. Well, I guess if it's not, that would be that would be a lot more convenient. Well, it might be protected uh, against ex like people teleporting in from outside it. It might not just be from people teleporting within it. We'll find out. Because otherwise, you know, it's a it's a palace for a mage. How convenient? How how like super convenient would it be to be able to just teleport between all your rooms? I mean, some people don't want to teleport for every little thing. Also, planning is also an art, so you don't have to teleport to the time. Also, okay, so I may just... Sorry, carry on. No, 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 I, I was gonna say, like, this isn't something I'm doing right this second, but I may have to just start smashing these orbs to try and get Elizabeth out, because I don't like what's happening. Okay, so, yeah, um, but... Elizabeth, you're casting Misty Step, yes? Where are yeah. you going with it? Um, so I'm assuming the other crystals are, like, there? Yes. So yeah, out so like about there, that's probably where I'm trying okay. to go. Okay, so uh you teleport. Whip. Uh after you do that, um you basically you arrive on the other side and uh the rest of you watch Elizabeth disappear, reappear on the far side of the corridor, and right as she does so, um like arcing white streaks of electricity oh, just go fuck. <laughs> up the inside of the tw uh, the 20 foot area in front of you. Yep. Fantastic. <sighs> Nailed it. Nailed it?! No! Arya's gonna beat your ass when you come out of there. Hey, I didn't get electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, but by the skin of your fucking been. teeth! <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Uh, the, the hum subsides. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't think of anything better than smashing the orbs, and I think that's our best bet at this point, so... Yeah. 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 I'm gonna smash these orbs. Okay. They're over here. Uh... You shouldn't touch anything, is what you should <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, for real! So, Clarice, you're smashing. taking a swing at the orb. Yeah, easy peasy, you can break it. Nice. Um, uh, Elizabeth, what are you crushing these orbs with? Um, my dagger, probably, just stabbing them. Okay, uh, sure, I will say, yeah, I suppose I you can, given, given that you have time, you are aware of them, and you know what it takes to destroy them, I will say that you can do that. Cool. Otherwise, we, can, we can't throw it too well over. But... No, 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 no. <laughs> I fucking okay. miss so that. So you're... I'm <laughs> upset right now. Well, um, like... I guess, actually, I guess Elizabeth, make me a dexterity check um, to avoid okay. doing this without hurting yourself. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Nice. Yeah, you manage to avoid, like, stabbing yourself with the broken glass as you break these. Uh, I love that that's where we're at, is trying not to stab ourselves with broken glass. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, we did. The good thing is, we learned one thing. Um, you want to use your Misty Step prepared? Or... Yeah, I do. Okay, because uh, what we're going to... We're not sure if it's completely disabled, but we know that works, so... I mean, I can you... try it. I'm. Yeah, I can Misty Step too, so... Yeah, Whichever well, I'm also... If it fucks up somehow, I think I'm better prepared to get hit with some lightning. <laughs> <then>. <laughs> some lightning. <laughs> yeah, than you guys are. Uh... 
Uh, well, so I love I'll, how we I'll, called. I'll, can we just talk about how we called like the lightning and the walls? <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, I'm gonna step into the danger zone. I, after all the orbs have been smashed, danger I'm step zone. into the danger okay. zone. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh. So you you're just stepping in. Yes. Okay. So take your step. Yeah, I will step in. Um, I will start feeling for a wall. Okay, you reach for the wall. There's nothing. Okay. okay. I'm gonna just keep, keep walking. Kind of going forward. Okay. The low hum begins. Oh. Hmm. Uh, is the wall there now? You're sort of like waving your arm around. There's 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 no wall. Well, that's good. So I think the lightning is separated from the wall. You might want to run. Yeah, I would run. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. Can I get there, or does it feel like? Uh, no yeah, wall? you can. You can get there. It's within your movement. Oh, okay, I see what you're Okay, saying. Claris makes it to the other side of the red lighting. Okay. Well, alrighty. I guess, I guess run for it then, guys. I guess we just have a, a shock wall or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'm gonna ch like try to check to make sure there isn't a wall that appeared like behind me as I stepped out of the red zone. Uh, no. Like, okay, cool. Okay. So, it sounds good. like y'all are good to just run across. Um, if we're gonna run across, we wanna probably do it. Might as well do it simultaneously. Just speed pick it up. And don't forget Lyra. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, we'll step back like another, so you guys can. Well, make I guess. A good run for it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will say. Yeah. It's within your movement speed, so you can all just Ooh. sprint across it. Woo! You did. Oh yeah. no, Lyra. No, it's all good. I just <laughs> Close controlling ball. two tokens sometimes. Um. Uh, so no, yeah. I know. Uh, I, for a third time, the lightning arcs up behind you again. Um, but yeah, you seem to bypass the trap for now. Um, oh, as cool. you continue down the corridor towards the laboratory. Oh no, no, no! I'm gonna have a word with Elizabeth. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm no, not pissed. No, no. no. no I just want to like grab her and be like, "Don't you fucking do that again." You are going to die one of these days because you're not going to be able to get out of it, and you're—it's going to be bad. So don't do it. Oh, I'm sorry. Of all the people to lecture me on not recklessly throwing themselves into situations where they Elizabeth could die, Elizabeth doesn't know you that are... shit. No, Elizabeth no. doesn't know that shit. <laughs> that is also true. Elizabeth doesn't. You not did know it right that. in front of me, like a couple week, like a couple of weeks ago. When? <laughs> Oh, I guess with the Cabal, but that With the also... first encounter with the Cabal! Oh, whatever. That first original fight we had. That was... I feel like that was different, though. Yeah, those was... are like enemies that we had to defeat. No, but... Did we? You walking into a trap that we all know is a trap, and we're saying this is probably a trap, is bad! So oh, yes, it. but, you Let's know, standing up to people on. who would definitely Guys. kill you is fine. Okay. Guys, shut up and move on. We will have this once we arrive at our destination. At least that's the idea. Okay, you carrying on? I guess so. Are you still pissed? Yep. So, uh... As you come... Scarlet, Scarlet just, like, hisses. Who's <laughs> like, sitting on Elizabeth's shoulder just hisses. Are oh, you? Yeah. As you come to uh, the uh, basically like the the junction where the the doorway to this first um, laboratory is, uh, down the other two forks in this junction, uh, you see more sections of red lighting on the floor. Um, it seems like there may be more than one instance of the thing that you ran into in here. Kind of expected this much. Um, but yeah, you step inside the um, uh, laboratory uh, to find a, a room that perhaps once was um, full of uh, alchemical and magical research tools, um, but appears now to have been absolutely stripped down to the... Um, well, literally down to the to the to the bare structure of the building itself. Um, the uh, the combination of stone and metal in the walls. It looks like the metal parts have been like uh, torn out from it and replaced with um, uh, 
uh, other things just to fill the gaps. Like it's some of the have got like books jammed in to to replace them, or or um, bits of wood and other things. Um, uh, other things like um, uh, it looks like at one point there may have been stone basins in the walls for holding things um, that appear to have been ripped off and broken down into um, into parts. Um, metal piping has been been stripped out from from areas, and uh, the stone panels in the floor. A number of them have been like ripped up and taken away, leaving um, what is like a um, a, a loose uh, shaly rock underneath. Um, yeah, you are standing basically in an empty room that has been torn torn to pieces. Be the effect of the uh, of the army trying to keep itself going. Probably. Does that so. mean there's no books in here? Um, there are a couple jammed into the walls, but they are like due to de due to moisture and decay, they are basically mulch. I was hoping there would be something in here. Okay. Um, let's brace both doors if we can, and then we'll have. Let's start getting on our armor and stuff. Okay. Right. If we brace the doors, wouldn't that make it harder for us to get out of the other door because it's braced, but then that kind but of like defeats it, the point with having two doors in the first place? Like, I'm assuming that well, the, us bracing the door will buy us more time like, than it will take us to remove the brace from the other door. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fair. Okay, um, the room's empty. What do we have to brace the door with? Is there like some scrap metal or something laying around? Um, you uh, can give me a perception check. Yeah, it's not great. So the the room is the room is basically empty, but um, you may be able to. Uh, provide at least a rudimentary blockade by just taking some of the like stone debris that is lying around and piling it up against the door and then bracing some um like either like weapons or something up against it um but yeah there is very little to form a proper barricade with i was thinking uh we could perhaps just create the door stop with uh, uh let's see Depends on the, the we have one, we have one hammer we could use or some pick. I guess it depends on the design of the pickaxe that would work or not. I mean, yeah, you can find a way to brace it all with it. Yeah. Right. Well, we'll just brace it. Yeah. Okay. So you you set up some rudimentary bracing on the two walls, um, and yeah, begin putting on armor. I guess. Uh, I think it's ten minutes for heavy armor, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If and then I guess uh, that leaves two doors to keep an ear out on with two people to watch. Them. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, I was thinking, uh, like, how long is a short rest? An hour. It's like right? an hour. And yeah, an hour seems like a little bit long, but we might need it if we get it. I mean, maybe worth the risk. I don't know. Like, I, I, I like. I, I'd like. What do you guys think? I mean, I, I could it's... do with a short rest at least. Yeah, I wouldn't. Like As could your companion. <laughs> As could Lyra. Yeah. Uh, Lyra more so than me, but I'm also pretty fucked up. I think all of us could uh, could benefit. Swap to the battle map. No. No. Oh no. We messed up. Uh, okay, so for, you're putting on armor first of all. Yes. yes. Okay. Yep. Can't believe you fucked up, guys. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, so, Elizabeth and I are keeping a lookout, Kalaris and Grimm putting on armor, yes? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, so... Um, Elizabeth, give me a perception check. Uh, um, and Ira as well, actually. Uh, can I make one for Scarlet as well? Uh, yeah, you can. Cool. Ha! <laughs> Lyra. Uh, My girl! And does, and does this check rely on sight, hearing, or smell? Yes. Oh, Scarlet. Okay. You had advantage. You had, you had the advantage, my girl. So, uh, uh, Caloris and Grim, as you're putting the finishing touches to strapping up your armor, um, Lyra, who is like sitting, waiting by the patiently by you, Aya, her ears flick up, and. Uh, she looks up above you. That's never a good sign. And begins to snarl. Uh, 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 can I look up? Because there's going to be a fucking monster on the ceiling. Okay, you look up at the ceiling. Uh, there is no monster on the ceiling. Oh, good. Um, however, uh, something catches your attention that you didn't notice beforehand. Um, and that's that there appears to be um, uh, untouched by the scavenging of uh, whoever has been ripping stuff out. Um, there is a long rectangular metal tube that runs the length of this laboratory. Okay. Does it have anything in it that I can see? Uh, it is solid metal, so you cannot see through it. Oh, well, I mean, um, I imagine that I imagine Lyra can hear something in it. Uh, approx approximately, um, well, probably c close to the far wall away from you, where um, uh, there's like a uh, the the walls come in a little bit and lead into like a second section of the research chamber. Um, there is a gridded metal vent in the uh, in the tube. Okay. Lyra continues just a low snarl. The rest of you are now aware of this. I mean... Surely that means there's something in that? Like, or are we? Can I, can I move over oh. to where the grid is and look up? Into Sorry, Manny, what was your question? Oh, okay. How far are we into like putting on our arm? Um, yeah. you're just doing the last few straps up, so you're basically done. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um. So I'm you're to... you're looking up through the vent. Um. It's for you. It's almost impossible to see anything because it is pitch black. Yeah. Hmm. Um, can you see anything through this thing, Aya? Can I? Okay, so you're you're uh, walking over towards the vent. Yeah, I'm peering up through it. Uh, okay. Uh, Please no face fucker. Right. Oh no. <laughs> what did you say? A face hugger. If, oh, if it's no. that, I will find <laughs> Ferris and I will murder him. Wow. So oh, wow. as you're as you are approaching Elizabeth, um uh Lyra lets out a sharp bark right as the great uh under some uh massive force buckles inwards and is sent ah. flying down towards Elizabeth. Uh Elizabeth make me a dexterity saving throw. Um how close is Clarice? <laughs> uh, too far away to benefit. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, imagine not close first. Nice! Oh! Nice. Okay. Fuck you. So, <laughs> Elizabeth, like, this thing come down to, comes down towards her and she, like, jumps backwards as a long, um, almost like cat like form, uh, like, lunges out of the vent and two, um, uh, muscular, like, but metallic, uh, clawed limbs lash down, trying to grab at where she was standing. And, oh yeah. <laughs> I guess, uh, well, actually, yeah, seeing as it, it technically has you by surprise, it lashes down, and then, uh, seeing the, seeing that its, it, its claws reach nothing, it uh, retracts back into the vent, and no longer being stealthy, you just hear clang 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 as it like runs up the thing of this vent. Oh my god! Um, this thing is fast. It covers like the whole room in the six seconds it takes you to to like catch yourselves and react. Ah, I don't like this. Note to so self. It's still, like, Check. Note like to it's self. In the room right now, like vent wise. Um, it ran away in a direction, um, like, it it goes over, like, a wall, so it must have, like, it, like, passes out of the room, and but is still in that same pipe. Oh, okay, I see. So, note to self, check all rooms for square, rectangular tubes. Maybe don't stand under vents, either, or grates, even. Uh, oh. Well... I can't believe that natural 20 ruined my alien moment. Ha <laughs> 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 oh, ha! That was a pretty good moment. <laughs> it was almost a face hugger. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was pretty rough. So yeah, are you guys done? Should we move? Um. I mean, at this well, point, is it coming back? It doesn't sound I'll like it. Out. I, I might be back in an hour or so. Well, within the hour. I don't think we can afford to have a short rest. My He's thought is, if it knows that it, if it knows that we know it's here, will it really come back that soon? But either, either way, it won't, like either it won't come back, either it will bring friends, or it has learned to use the ultimate systems that still remain. Who knows? All right then, shall we go? Like, I'm I'm surprised that a creature like this could even live here. Well, I mean, it did look like it was made of metal. I was gonna say, yeah, is it even a creature? I mean, it's a creature even if it's made of metal. Regardless, um, to move or not to move? Well, you are all see. very wounded. Yeah. I mean, I can try to do a little bit to patch us up, but... Bearing in mind know. there's also, you know, those, well, um... Traps. Otherwise, I guess we kind of do need. We probably will need our strength. Because I imagine oh. that um, there might be. Some well, well, is there guardian. any more vents in that tube? Uh, give me an investigation check. So the answer is yes, technically. Um, there are none quite that large, but there are a number of like small, thin ones that. Um, and, and now that you now that you have a moment to look at these, um, uh, considering this thing is uh, at least partially submerged in a mountain, this is probably some sort of air cycling system. Uh, as if this place, because this. This place locks down fairly sturdily, as far as you can tell, and uh, in order to sustain human life down here, you need to be able to breathe. Um, so these are presumably some sort of air cycling system. Um, but whatever this thing is, the vents are large enough to accommodate it, and it looked big. Um, yeah, it, it like, like the, the the ceiling is basically like it's it's a lot it's a tall ceiling, so it must be like um 
Perhaps not quite ten feet up? No, wait. How high is a regular ceiling? Like... Eight? Like eight. Well, okay. Uh, well, I guess uh, doorways are eight ten. feet. So I mean, I'd have, said, I'd have said ten feet. Yeah, so maybe it's... Oh. It's maybe... Uh... Yeah, it's maybe like... F Fifteen feet up? Uh, and this thing was able to, like, extend its body to, like, lunge down and barely miss Elizabeth. Um, so this thing is, like, Oh, it didn't even long. leave the... Oh, I thought it left enti entirely. It, no, it, it did not leave the no, vent. Jesus fucking that. Christ. It just lunged down at you. Man, fuck this alien bullshit. <laughs> okay, my suggestion, then, is... We try and stay in this room, because we are pretty badly wounded, but we stay in a place in this room where there's no vents... where there isn't any vents nearby, and it's also near a door. Or we'll just keep your weapons near you. And that. You know, far away from the vent that it can actually get through, and away from other similarly sized vents, and near a door. If that's Obviously, in any way possible. At yep. this point, I'm half expecting a mechanical dragon to show up near the end of... Like... Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Let's not invite dragons into our midst. Yeah, I mean, that's, nice that's, what we, that's what we call. That's what we call tempting fate. Please do not do it. Considering we yeah. have said we've never faced a dragon before. Looks at like... Rob. And this is Dungeons and <laughs> Dragons. No. Wow. I'd like to meet a. Nice now I'll have you know, we I... did meet a dragon on the beach we... episode. We oh think we God. met a dragon. We we Rob has neither confirmed, confirmed nor deny those yeah. rumors. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe. It was probably a dragon, though. I'd like to believe in my heart that she's a dragon. Honestly, like. I feel like we're playing Dungeons and Demons. Dungeons and Demons. Hey <laughs> I mean, we can still got the D and D, so yeah. Oh. We have. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I am not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> so anyway, anyway. <laughs> you are ban taking a short rest to bandage your wounds and weapons drawn, like watching this vent, <laughs> just in yeah. case it comes back. All right, time to yes. roll some hit die. Yeah. Oh, and we get bonus because you're a, you're a healy, healy uh, ranger now. Yes, you. Uh, Everybody, can... clump up around Kalaris. No, no, uh, no, around you. Around, are you? <laughs> They're around me. Yes, because yeah, you, you, you have you um your where is it? Da, 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 da. Yeah, you have a short like rest bar. Yeah. What? I mean, you can also clump you, around. You me. used That's this too. like Fine. literally the other day. Uh, Did I? <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Oh, I, I love it. Uh, choose a number oh, of willing yeah. creatures up to your wisdom modifier, which is unfortunately right. one. <laughs> so yeah. you can only choose one creature to benefit from the uh, not healing less than half your hit dice. Um, who wants who it? Uh, yeah, the problem is we're all on about the same percentage health. Except for yeah, your but... companion. Lyra. Oh, oh yeah, oh, Lyra. Lyra. Honestly, that would make sense. Yeah. Lyra has nine hit points, so... Yeah, you should yeah. probably... Hit dice rolling Lyra. time! I can't believe we're using hit dice. It's been so long. Yeah. Last time we rolled the oh, die... Oh, yes. Didn't... Nice. I oh, didn't realize it. the music nice. sounds, like, kind of happy. It does for, sound a little bit are. too happy. I Maybe like I... it. No, please leave it. <laughs> <laughs> we need a moral <laughs> boost. Also, what, what is it? I don't recognize oh, it. Oh, fuck's sake! Uh, it's Tales of Vesperia, I think. Oh, wild. Okay, should start rolling hit dice well, On a scale of 1 to 106, I'm now roughly a 105. Shit. Need a few more. That's the plus 3 that I rolled? <laughs> sure, I... I'm rolling very well. Oops. Oh, yeah, no, you, you, you can't click clear as automated one, unfortunately. It rolls a health pool because uh, it's a monster sheet. Yeah. How do I... Uh, just, just do uh, 1d10 plus 4. I think. Is her con mod 4? I, can't, I can never remember. What? It is. Her so con yeah, mod is plus four. pretty ridiculous. I can't believe she has the highest con mod out of all of us. <laughs> right? Lyra's uh, No, Lyra only has a con one, so it's actually 1d10 plus oh. one. Oh. Um, but you I can't... I was going to say, because I... 
you can't roll less than a five on your d10 thanks to the uh, ranger buff. So. Uh, cool. yeah. So yeah, actually, that means uh, also yeah. Even then, having a plus four would not be the highest. It'd be the joint highest because I've got plus four. Mm. They have like high, like still. It's I've, I've oh my god, <laughs> is this broken? <laughs> no, she, she was just really was rolling that well. Okay. <laughs> so that's a five, a nine, a ten, oh. a ten, and a five oh, plus my one. Good god. And another nine. <laughs> Actually, I guess I should roll up. No, I rolled enough. Okay, so you are burning yes. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hit dice for oh, Lyra. Actually, some of your shit back too. Well, all my like all my shit is not that much shit to be honest. Yeah, but it's still some shit that you usually don't get back because we usually don't take short rest. Yeah, I, I get the only one I really use was. Oh, well, I guess I used one superiority die and one second win. Yeah. Oh, do you have two already? Uh, no, I only have one second win. Okay. You do get a, you do get a second one. I'm not remembering that wrong, am I? Uh, so... I think I do, but it's... Eventually. It's Lyra has one. only five hit dice remaining, so that's important to keep note of. Because remember, remember to deduct yeah. your hit dice, etc. Yeah, I know. Ah. I'm, you know what? I'm also going to do my short rest thingy, because I can. Oh, yes, you can... Regain some slots. Arcane recovery! Guys, I have all my spell slots back now. Nice. That's I used up great. all of them, I used up all my first level and the second level spell slot getting us here, and now I can get all of them back. But you can only do that once per day, can't you? Yeah, once per day. Once per long rest, you can restore spells during a short rest. No, no, once per day. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess it's basically... Yeah, you don't need to rest to do it. But... Yeah. Uh, okay, so you spend ten minutes doing that. You mean an hour? Oh yeah, yeah. sorry, an hour doing that. Yeah, ten minutes to put your armor on, then an hour to do that. Uh, you are undisturbed for your short rest. Wild. How suspicious. I know, right? Very wild. <laughs> so do, do we want to go disarm a trap now? Well, where are you? Uh, my question is: A, where are you headed? And B, have you got anything else you want to do while you're in a secure location? Hmm. I mean, do we want to try to plan out a like an actual route to follow instead of just like winging it every thirty turns or whatever? Uh, that was a bad yeah. Do we know the layout of the turns. castle well enough? Do you have a blueprint. We have the map. We have, oh yeah, right, well, that's true. We have. We have the like one of the blueprints, not the exact castle. Well, yeah. But... What what we need is an well, the the we layout is always the same. The contents of the rooms is not necessarily what's marked on the blueprint. Yeah. Right. But it's if we have a general well, idea of where we want to be headed, that's better than walking down corridors blind yeah. and then having to pull up the map every so often. Well, yeah. Well, like what? Super often. Like, how do we want to? Do we want to go straight for what's presumed the this vault that's got the crown in? Or do we want to like, like I assume, I assume we want to take the fastest route there, and then have a close look at what the hell is sealing this vault, and then presumably you might have to look around and find how to not have it be so secure. Mm-hmm. So I assume what we want from the map is the quickest route to the vault. Well, that was that was also kind of what we were working towards, right? Well, I guess I didn't mention it for the second room, so perhaps we had a little detour, but... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, necessary detour, even if it did take us in the opposite direction, so... Yeah. So yeah, to the, uh, to the vault, the secret tunnel. ASAP. I think that's the plan. Okay. Let's so you're heading there. directly there. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, there's... Yes. I don't think there's anything else we need to do right now. I well, I mean, so. we need... well, first we need to figure out what the hell is sealing the vault shut. And if it was, in fact, the, um, the thing that we broke an hour ago. Well, an hour and ten minutes ago. 
Wait, did we know there was the the fault was being sealed shut? We knew it was protected in some way because um, she told us. Well, we see. I, I thought she said we could bypass it using the secret pathway. Well, there's only one way to find out. That's not quite the spirit I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I do recall that, but I could also be remembering it wrong. And I don't... No, I thought she, I thought she said it was protected and yet to, to get Let's through the secret. Let's check if I wrote it down in my notes, because I wrote down a lot of shit, but I don't know what I wrote down. So, <laughs> as, a, as a brief sort of um, coverage of um, what Lady Vasilia said, um, she basically said... Um, the easiest way to get to the vault is through the secret passageway, unless you have a way of swimming through a few hundred meters of modern lava. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, oh, nice. I think about a few hundred miles of lava. Uh, she may have said miles, I can't remember. Um, it's still swimming through lava, which I don't think any of you have the ability to do. Mm. Well, a hundred meters is, you can fly over. Miles it gets tricky. No, you have to swim uh, through yeah. it. It's, it's also down, oh. not across. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's still he, he tricky, means swim through it and completely submerging yourself. Yes. It's still a lot more doable, but, but yeah, it's still a problem. Yeah. That's okay, guys. I have fire shield. Great, because that only helps you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I it, it, it also doesn't... Yeah, it's only resistance. It's only resistance to fire damage. Yeah, so it's, it's only half of 100 d10 or yeah. whatever. That's why I said that really sarcastically. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I guess a secret passage to the vault? Secret yeah. tunnel! Can we, can, yeah. so wait, sorry, can we get to the secret passage from in the fortress? That's yes! The, that is the thing that we can yeah. do. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's, that's why we have to get into the fortress. Yeah. Okay, so, so sorry, I think my confusion came that at some point we were talking about getting in through the mountain and a secret passage there, and I think that is what confused me. So I, I Yeah, because oh. the mountain is... Yeah, because the secret passage goes into the mountain, but so does the fortress. Yes. Right. No, I think that at some point it was discussed, or the way that I interpreted a discussion was that we were trying to get into that from outside, and I was like, what the fuck are we talking about? This was like a couple oh. seconds back, but yeah. that no, was yeah, really uh, you, so I understand. No, but, no, we were talking about sneaking into the castle via the mountain and so that we could get to the secret passage. Uh, and there was at one point we made, mis like, I wasn't sure if the secret passage that led into the fortress or from the fortress to the thing, and that may have caused confusion. That's fine. Like, that may uh, also have just been me being... A fool. So we're in good. other words, we're in the fortress. There's a secret passage from the fortress to the thing, so you have to go through the secret passage. I'm gonna draw yeah. myself a little flow chart on my notes. <laughs> okay. So from mountain it's to just fortress for to secret tunnel to evil crown. Well, to vault to evil crown. Yeah. So let's get through that secret passage. And then it's, there's probably more to the defense of this thing if it's really that valuable than just the secret passage. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, quick, quickest route to the secret passage, whichever way that is. Okay. So, using the blueprint, you plot the shortest route to where you believe the secret passage to be. Setting off through the dark corridors, uh, you navigate back the way you came, past the control room, which is now finished. Like, th there's still sort of like a faint, like, a few wisps of smoke, like, still drifting throughout the corridor. Um, but it seems to have quietened down. Um, the dull hum and the thrum of what sounds like machinery in the distance is still present uh, as you pass by. Um, until you come to, uh, a uh, another much narrower corridor uh, that is illuminated along its length by a number of strips of red lights. Uh, so I guess again I'll draw a visual indicator for an illustration. Uh, 
I'll just draw them as boxes because it's probably quicker. Getting more frequent. Yes. Uh, so yeah, you guys find yourselves at the end of a corridor with three sets. They seem identical to the previous one. Give me an investigation check. Can I do that as well? Yep. Oh, fuck. Wow, Grim. Okay. I don't I roll, roll a 19. Often, but when I do, <laughs> when I, roll when I do, I roll it. Unless it's Dex. <laughs> Unless it's Dex. So, as you, uh, as you examine this, um, Elizabeth, these seem uh, very similar to the previous ones. Um, however, Grim, you notice that uh, actually the um, the way the first thing here is set up is very similar to the previous one, with the uh, the number of orbs that um, uh, align down the sides. Um, however, the uh, above it on the um, uh, the wall are basically a number of what look like um, uh, I guess like uh, drainage channels with um, uh, shutters on them. So there's some kind of gas or liquid potentially involved in this one. Oh, joy. I'm not sure if it's just the, well, the kill mechanic that's different, or the lock mechanism as well. The lock seems the same. And I guess we could just try the same tactic as last time, and then send in one of us to take a missy step. Because we know we can well, get out of it. Yeah. Uh, well, let's start by getting rid of the orbs on this side. Okay. Yeah. So who's going to be in charge of that? I'll smash no. them. Okay. <laughs> Jalen will <laughs> smash them through a yawn. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy Jalen will smash them. I'm very tired. It was I'm just funny because <laughs> you're like, yeah, I'll smash these orbs as you're like yawning. <laughs> okay, so yeah, e easy enough with your strength, just smash, smash, smash three orbs. Well. So the thing is. This, yeah, this does make me concerned though that if it's like a, uh, if it is like a gas or a liquid thing, we've now smashed the barrel. Um, that's gonna if, if we trigger it, it's just gonna all escape, Meh. and it's not actually bad, get ventilated and sucked out. I mean, yes, just... but stand back. Well, yeah, I guess we'll stand back for now. Let's... Um, also, sorry, we're not trying to get across to this bit because there's more orbs there. Is that what the case is? Well, um, uh, so because there's orbs on this side and on this side, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, I can so, only and... imagine that if the orbs are st so, we definitely can't get through at this point to this here unless one of us misty steps because I assume uh. that the wall will appear. Well, that said, we might be able to just trigger the trap three times and having all the orbs or like depending or just the amount of times equal to the amount of orbs, and then they'll disappear. But Misty Step would speed up the process a lot. Yeah. Also, we're gonna have to check what actually happens once we trigger this trap. But yeah, yes. you could step in, step out real quick. Yeah, do you want me to just step in, step out first, and then... Well, let's do that first, just in case. And then and step back hold, some, some extra. And Oops. hold your breath, I guess. You know, we'll find out. Yeah, so I'll, like, step into there, and then I guess backpedal the fuck out. Well, not backpedal, but, you know, get out. Okay, so you step in, wait for a few moments, and then take a step back. Um, as you do, as you 
step back, the um, uh, the shutters on a number of the, the the vents do slide open. Okay. You wait. You know, Nothing I'm seems to be happening. Is, I'm always wondering actually now if it is some sort of gas, then maybe... Yeah, it might not it's... be visible. Well, well, it may not be visible, but also... Actually... Mm. I was also going to say shutter it might not slide even closed. be there anymore. It might have um, dissipated on its own. Well, well, not only that, but I do wonder if there's no way for it to get pushed out, because we've fucked up a lot of the power, it seems, for the, the fortress. Well... I don't know if we messed up the power or just the interconnectivity. Well, because well, no, because when we well, I shouldn't say when we when I smashed the big old crystal, didn't all the lights turn off? As far as you can tell, yeah. Th this corridor is in is in darkness, with the exception of the red lights. Right. So it could be that there's no way. Kalaris wouldn't know this, but like out of character, it could be that there's no way for like the the gas to be like pushed out anymore because it might not have a power source no. to do that. But I that don't is know. Like what, that's what Elizabeth was saying. Yeah, or, well, no, she uh, was saying that no. it, it dissipated, which is... Oh, no, I thought she also said that it wasn't... That it just, just wasn't there anymore because it just didn't... Well, not the right. Well, yeah, because like, if, if it was being stored in something which has since, you know, worn down and now has a hole in it, the gas will all just escape. Which means it wouldn't be there to flow out of the vents. Uh, and also... Well, just... Like just, if it was if it was a gas, then opening the vents would release it. Like that's all you'd have to do. And we've just seen that the vents do release. That's true. We um, could also be but, invisible. We could also another, just be fucked up. Yeah, right we now. we could also just be dying right now. Who knows? Yeah. Another point of order: Did did the other try the other side proc? As in the orbs. Yeah, you can't tell from over here. Uh, I I can think of a way to find out. Can I pick up if there's like a loose stone or something on the floor? Sure. Can I just throw it at where the wall would be? Sure. Uh, yeah, it yeah. it skitters yeah. along the corridor. It's not stopped by anything. Okay. Um, so well, yeah, I'm guessing so the barrier is closed. When you... Sorry. So one of so one of you two can just sprint across, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I could do it. Like, be sure to stop before the next one. Right, yeah. And remember, Missy step. Okay, so... Yep. Yep. And Whoa. hold your breath, I guess, just in case. Uh, yeah. That's probably not a bad idea. Yeah. Try not okay. to, like, smash into the wall if it does show up, though. Yeah, I can do that. Alright. Stacking up the required. Yeah. I mean, it was mostly a joke in character and out of character, but you know. Well, it's like one of those joking things that is at the same time very serious. It's yeah, like... it's like, but also, yeah. I mean, to be fair, you're not going to like destroy yourself if you smash into the wall, I assume, because I was. No. To... Unless these are different, and these could also be different, but. But like, running into an invisible wall will we'll mess you up. More than you'd like. Hurt a little bit. Like, well, I mean, it's probably exactly the same as running into a normal wall. Anyways, shall we? Yeah, or like, Arya? When you run into a yeah. normal wall, brace yourself. You can brace yourself for an invisible wall. Brace yourself. So, what are you doing, Arya? I'm going to sprint across to this other section and going to start breaking the okay. orbs. So, you're sprinting? Yoink. Okay. Uh, you make it to here. Uh, uh. Dexterity saving throw, please, as you bounce right. off an invisible wall. Fuck <laughs> <sake. laughs> That's a really shitty dexterity roll. You catch yourself. <laughs> you oh, don't fall good. face first, but oh fuck! <laughs> that the really hurt. So it, it, it may also be true that you know because it's magic and all that, it only uh, procs the wall when you know the vents. That person. Shows up. Did I not say that? <laughs> she did definitely say that. Uh, Aya, make oh. me a perception check. Yeah. Cool. I may have missed that statement. Okay. Nice perception. Um, Thanks. <laughs> at least my ducks. <laughs> through the um, 
through the heavy copper smell that you can smell in your nose right now. Great. Um, you can... There is something in the air, like... Almost like a, a sulfurous sort of smell. Hmm. Okay, so there is some sort of gas here. I oh, thought we said I... hold your breath. Well, but... yeah. I do also wonder if because we've broken part of the box that it's not concentrated. Yeah, enough it's to, not like, It's not going to like get all up in your air supply as much. Mm -hmm. Maybe? Yeah, I'm with you there, Kalaris. About 30 broken, seconds right? later, the uh, thing slides shut. Yeah, because I guess it's... I mean, can you smash the orbs from that side of the wall? Can I smash the orbs from this side of the wall? Probs not, right? Um, you sort of reach forward with your uh, the thing of your sword, and you manage to make contact with it. Um, yeah, th there is only one orb with a, uh, a prism left in it, and you smash that one. The wall gun. Okay. Yeah, is the wall gun. Reach out. There's nothing there. Great. So this may actually be the other trap, but with less trap. Well, okay. Just still be careful when walking through this area. Um, yeah. They mm -hmm. might well, also, them. like, we don't know if this next one is still the same thing. Uh, can I mean, can uh, you see vents, are you? I was going to say the same can thing. Can I? Uh, make me a perception check. Your elven eyes see. What do they see? Uh, okay, so there don't appear to be vents or any sort of apparatus for generating electricity in this one. Um, hmm. However, as you examine it, um, the um, there is a thin line of a brass-coloured metal that runs up the uh, the centre line here. Uh, from here to here. Hmm. Concerning. Seems like yeah, I don't like that. A trapdoor? No. Maybe. Maybe, but yeah, maybe it is, but... Okay, can I go ahead and smash these orbs? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and start, like, just... Tsh, tsh, tsh. One after the other. What are the rest of you doing? This is an amazing ritual. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, uh, we I can probably only fit one person between the two. Yeah. yeah. Would you like I, to go, Grim? Like, as much as I'd like to, I feel like the people with Misty Step are, um, well, the better bets. But you can also see things and have a good. Oh yeah, you're, you're yeah. blind, aren't you? Well, I yeah. also meant figuring out traps. I have my sword; it's glowing. I'm okay. But... Yeah, you. Yeah, you're the you're the traps. You're the tinkery person. We'll be right behind yep. you, it's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we're we'll only... Hold like, my breath, run for it, and don't run over. Okay, yep, yeah, you okay. run up next to Arya. Uh, um, what is Lyra end, doing? But... Uh, yeah, the, the vents slide open again. Uh, well, she's hanging back for a while, because she can't misty step, so... Okay. She's probably just chilling with Elizabeth and Carlaris. Okay. Also, yeah, is it trapdoors, or like, you know, like, crushy walls? Oh, the ceiling, so... so... So, like, it was a... Uh, what's the old line? A, uh... A, a thin metal line that runs up between the flagstones. Does it seem like... Like, the... Is there any hint of a gap? Um, make me an investigation check. That's not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. Uh, as as you look, um, there is they are very tightly pressed together, but there is what looks like a, a hairline gap between the two. Mm. Well, trapdoor then. 
So it seems like it is a trap door. I mean, you I could just know. straight up Misty Step across. Mm, do you yeah. want to save yours, or do you... Because you can only do that once, right? Yeah, once a day. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe... At this point, point, I'm kind of wondering why we even bother checking the traps if we're just going to jump over anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of them we might not need to, but this one That's perhaps fair. is worth it. That's uh, also true. Yeah, because I think... Oh, I am... If I step up to here, I can just misty step straight over there. I mean, if you want to. Uh, yeah, maybe Otherwise, save yours for a situation where you may really, really need it, because at least <laughs> I can do it more than once a day. Well, like Elizabeth can do it quite a few times as well. Yeah. Smashing a few orbs is within her capabilities. Damn, shots fired. Well, I was more like, I'm more concerned about her character curiosity of the next trap, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... At least we... She knows. She, she will... She knows. I hope you know, um, I'm rolling my eyes so hard at you Passive right perception checks, everyone. Passive perception? What is your passive perceptions? Yeah. 18. 16. It's an 11. 9. Yeah. Uh, Not even. <laughs> okay, so um, you turn around and are having this conversation, um, and, and this fucking thing comes out of the ceiling again. Every, every, everyone except Grim uh, sort of stops and pauses for a second, as like there's like a like a clinking and whirring that's getting like slightly louder and louder until. Like the 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 light cast from Claris's like talk from Claris's freedom, like the, her shadow is like loop like blocking most of the light behind her, but the flickering illuminations uh, light up something approaching from behind. <laughs> what the uh, fuck? I don't like that. I'm gonna draw my bow. Oh, hello. Um. Yeah. Whoa. Standing. That's an alien. Standing. Armored alien. Like thirteen feet tall, uh, like on like when it's on its hind legs, like stepping slowly towards you into the the sword light, uh, is uh, from what you can tell, roughly the same creature that am jumped into to ambush Elizabeth. Um, God damn it! Everybody, we, roll yeah, me initiative. Seen this coming. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay. Well. Um, oh, hey, at least we saw it coming. bad place to be. Huh? I guess all I have to say is watch the gas, it might still be flammable. Oh! oh <laughs> shit! I've just realised something. Um, everybody except Grim is technically... Well, yeah, no. Everybody except Grim isn't surprised because they saw it coming, but Grim isn't surprised because of his sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, that doesn't fucking matter. Danger sword! So, I think, so I like nobody to think is that surprised. Just, I like to think that that manifests by it just like dinging Grim in his mind, because oh, that's how it works, yep. right? Like, it, like, dings at him, also, and he's just, like, continuing to talk and doesn't fucking realize it until, like, the last second, but just, yeah. like, like, oh, yeah. that's Gr Gr Grim can just hear v v v and it's like, what the fuck is, what the, oh, that's me! <laughs> it's like when your phone is on vibrate yeah. and you're, like, bad, yeah. you don't realize it, it. It also, um, it also warns any companions within 30 feet. Great. Uh, oh. But everyone is already aware, so... Yeah, everyone else is already aware, mate. Yeah, we're all like grim, and you're like, like "Hey, guys, there's a thing." <laughs> Look, at least I get advantage on initiative. <sighs> yeah. Like, uh, oh yeah, grim good. tells the, grim tells the others are like, "Hey, look, there's a thing," and everyone's already looking at it, and he's like, "Oh." Okay. No, it's, like, it's just because um... my leadership is that great, it didn't even have to say anything. Yeah. Okay, grim. <laughs> you keep telling yourself on that, buddy. <laughs> yep. Oh. Passive Perception 18, my friend. Passive Perception um, 18. I mean, it triggered it with an 11, so like... <laughs> Grim's just in a rough spot, really. Yeah. That's what you get from him, minus wisdom. Yeah. Like, That's I why I got rid of that minus buff on me, because I was like, fuck that. Wow, it rolled awfully for initiative. Good. <laughs> nice. Mm, perhaps we don't want to stay in this weird trap-filled corridor. Just yeah, as, it's probably just not a, a great thought. idea. Sucks to uh, yeah, starting with Aya. Alien. 
Maybe we can get it to like fall down. The trap door. The trap door. I was, I was thinking that, but I... Surely it's smarter than that, though. Uh, we'll see. You never know. Uh, well, anyway. Ar Arya to act. Arya's gonna pull out her bow. Uh, also, Lyra doesn't need initiative. We keep forgetting this. I didn't roll her initiative, so... Oh, okay. Her initiative was already <laughs> in the order. Cool. <laughs> oh, it was probably she in there from the... last time when we Possibly. didn't yeah. take it out. Oh. Anyway. I'm... Ah. I'm gonna take out my bow here and I'm gonna shoot that motherfucker. Okay. Shh. Pew. That really sucks. Yep. Uh, um, that is not enough to hit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't expect you, it was. You did, like it hits carapace and just goes chink and just like the arrow just shatters. Wow. Aggressive. Um. Wow, you shot at it. I did shoot at it. Okay, and then I. <laughs> My instinct is like, don't fucking send your dog in to fight the alien, but. It's gonna come for either way, so bark bark. <laughs> bork bork. Uh yeah, okay, so Lyra like swings in towards it and it just like with surprising speed for its uh for its build, just um like uh steps backwards as the jaws like close in front of it. Uh it does not hit. Okay. Well, some there's something about you two attacking the same target? Uh, when they're within five feet of the same time. Yeah, I was going to say, it's oh, okay. five feet, so we are not <laughs> in five feet of each other. Do you want to move? What? Do you want to move? Because uh, uh, remember, you have sword now. You do have sword. You have a cool sword, too. I do. Quite literally, a cool sword. Hey, a well, hey. cool sword. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll move up here. Okay. Elizabeth. Uh Hmm. Um ah. Oh. So I'm having a slightly wild idea. Cuz if this is like a um you know like a constructy thing. Alien. It's often, yeah, sometimes if it's if hmm. Cause yeah, because if it's like when you, when you get like um, revive statues and stuff, you can dispel them. Mm. So I guess I'd like to spend this round asking a question: Does this thing seem to have uh, an arcane nature to it that would that could be dispelled? Uh, so you're spending your action to make an arcana check. Yeah, I guess. Go for it. Fuck's sake! So mm, it's not good. In your experience of constructs, um, those that are magically animate tend to have a particular nature to them. Uh, this one appears to be primarily mechanical. Um, it's difficult to tell what a dispel magic would do to it, but you're not sure it would work in the same way as other constructs. No. Um... So. Yeah, you you don't know the effect it'll have, but it probably won't have the effect you're expecting. Eh, worth a shot. I'm still sad at all of my plus eleven rolls. I mean, on the bright side, it means that you can't really roll below like a fucking thirteen. Of like a, yeah. Yeah. Um, I can still be sad, though. Uh, <laughs> but I can still be sad about it. That's fair. I can still be sad, because, you know, I could be getting, like, 30. You could. And I'm not. Uh, well, then in that case, I think that's pretty much all I could do, because I don't have bonus actions. What are bonus actions? I don't know either, so let's let's have no bonus actions together. Okay. No bonus action solidarity. <laughs> Hello, <Russ. laughs> Hi. Um, can I move through it space, or is it, like, way too blocking all the shit? Uh, way you can move through it at half speed. Okay. 
as I'm curious if I can get so ten to there. Okay, so I wouldn't actually be able to get. Yeah, you'd be in its space and suffering disadvantage to anything you tried to do to it. Okay. In that case, I will just misty step to. I'm assuming I can at least see past it then. Yes. Okay. Um, then I would like. Yeah, to it is. It doesn't quite fill the whole corridor. It's very thin. Okay. Um. Yeah, because that'll give us yeah, like alien. flanking and stuff. Um, and I'd like to swing my sword. Okay. Uh, oh, I should remember to tick the advantage box for the <laughs> placement that I just made. Oh, actually, let me mark off my spell before I forget, because I will forget to do that, and that'll be bad. Okay, now swings. One, two. Okay, uh, both of those hit. I will smite on the second one. Yeah. Uh, I think just to f let me check how many first levels I have. Uh, yeah, I'll just use a first level smite for now. Nope, I did not mean to do Doesn't that. get anything weird or special. Uh, it does not. Okay. That was a bad smite. <laughs> oh well. Okay, you uh, you teleport behind this thing, raise freedom, and lay two like slashes into its armored hide. Your magic blade like piercing through its heavy steel plating. Um, yeah, it seemed to just like that. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, that's uh, understandable. <laughs> so it's fair. Uh, Grim. I would also dislike that if I were in its position. <laughs> Well, um, I'm going to do the classic thing of run towards the enemy and arrive around later. Um, <laughs> one, two, five. Oh, Grim. You'll get there, Grim. Uh, it's okay. I'll get there. Although, uh, I can. what I can do is make you swing one more time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, get him in the back, Kolaris. You got it. Ooh. And... Ooh, seven. Do you have to make an attack first, or does it not matter? Oh no, like, I, you get to make an attack. No, I, it, never mind. I read the thing wrong. You're good. Uh, I yeah, I, 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 think we, I think we ruled that he can just do that and forfeit the entire action, because to me it seems weird that he has to hit something first. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could also just throw a weird dart. But... Oh, like, uh, that is true. Like, you could make a range attack. Twenty-five. Hits. I guess that's true. But like, all I have to do is forgo an attack, which. Yeah. Oh right, because you yeah. can you can use that without even like, taking all of your attacks, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I don't see why not really. Yeah. Because yeah. it says one of your attacks, which means you can, if you were in range, you could still like hit it twice or something. Yes. But. Yeah. But okay. this time there's there's only so many attacks. Uh, you don't get the three radiant. It's only on the first hit every turn, isn't it? Or is uh, it every round? No, I think it's every hit. Oh! Uh, is it? That's clerics you're uh, using. That's that my oh, yes, yeah. So, okay, so I'm... Let me double check. Take oh, yeah, it's whenever damage. you hit a creature with a melee weapon. Okay, cool. Yes, I was thinking of the cleric thing, thank you. Oh, I... No, I, I smite all the time now, is apparently what happens. Okay. Uh, so, the creature, like, it's... Element of surprise lost, um, uh, like, um, s tries to like swat away at Kalaris, uh, before, um, standing up on its, uh, hind legs, and, uh, the, um, the jaw plate, like, or what looks like a jaw plate, uh, slides down, and a, um, uh, inside you can see, like, a, um, uh, like a meshed funnel, uh, right as it emits a deafening roar. Uh, I don't like that noise. Everyone within a 60 foot cone in front of it, so that's all of you except Claris. Uh, constitution oh. saving throw, please. Yep. I don't think well. any of you guys are in range. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. He's too big. Uh. Oh, wait, I do not get advantage on that. Oh, fuck okay. me. Uh, so so every one. everyone fails this. I'm supposed to have good card. Uh, you take th everyone takes thirty thunder damage. 
Holy oh shit, my god. you guys. You drop everything you're holding and are stunned oh, for one minute. Oh my god. Oh, wow. For a minute? For a minute. Oh, fuck wow. Me. Fuck okay. my life. Uh, oh. You do get to make saving throws at the end of each of your turns, but. God. Mm. It's a good thing I was only holding uh, my dagger. Oh, dang it, maybe I should. Uh, never mind. I should probably have used my double pull, but that's fine. Okay, 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 okay. This is bad. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> this is bad. This is very oh, stop, bad. Stop with the Ks. Everybody stunned. Uh, that is the end of its turn, however. Uh, oh, wait, no, hang on. No, don't. <laughs> Please don't. No, okay, cool. Don't hang on, me. Uh, We're not hanging on. Aya, end of your turn, make a saving throw. Uh, for both you uh, and for Lyra. Con? Uh, yeah, con saving throw. Both oh. of you fail. <laughs> Oh what? my god! Fuck. 18 oh my fails? God. Correct. Uh, Elizabeth! <laughs> this is bullshit. No, it's bad. Oh no. Yep. Okay, okay. Go, Claris. <sighs> okay. Um. Okay, that's great. What is. I was. My my range thing is ten feet, right? For my weird aura, I always forget because I'm I think so. Bad. Yes. Yeah, it's ten feet. Okay. Um. um. I, hold on, I'm calculating something very quickly, <laughs> and probably putting myself in a lot of danger right now. So. But yeah, this you thing can. Doesn't look bad, right? Like it doesn't look bad off. It's just no. It, doing it yeah, so. it's. It's got two very large gouges in the back of its arm, or three very large gouges in the back of its armor, but that's it. Okay. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm going to take my two swings first. Okay, with advantage. Um, okay, I was going to say, do I still get the advantage? Uh... I can never... Hang on, let me just... Because it it's not, flanking, because... isn't it? And I never, I'd never know if flanking... Uh, it matters if the others. Well, if it's if. Okay, that. Ow! It would really help if I didn't miss my desk putting my elbow down. Just yeah. slap <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Um... Uh, yes. Fuck. Okay. Uh. Things I really wish I had prepped is lesser restoration. <laughs> um... Uh. Yeah, it it doesn't say they have to be. It just says they have to be an ally. So. Okay. So I do. Cool. I I will allow it. If if they were incapacitated, I would say no. But. Okay. Okay. Um. In that case, I will take my swings. Okay. Uh, take advantage, making sure I can see what I'm doing. Uh, one, two. Okay. Ah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. I'm gonna roll the first one. Uh, I'm just gonna roll both of them. I'm going to. I think I'm gonna smite on both of them. Um. Second level for the first one, and then I'm gonna do my <laughs> third level for the second one. Cause I get that one doubled. Okay. That's good. So I'm gonna roll the first one first. Uh. That's eight. For the second one? Yes. I can do math. <laughs> Oof. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, now that's, that's a lot of damage! <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I would like... I, I will let you do that first. Uh, yeah. I want to move through its space and... Minus 13... Myself between it Minus and... 35. 
trying to think if there's anything else like wild I can do with a bonus action. I don't think there really is. Um... Wild bonus action moves. Although after this move, I don't think you need to do anything wild. I think I... that was wild enough. <laughs> I'm gonna do something stupid, which is put myself uh, here, because um, I have the movement to do yep. that. Yeah. Okay, I you mean, duck, you duck under it and like impose smart. yourself between you and your allies, between yeah, them, I'm, it I'm and your allies. Smart, right? cause... Yeah, we're now also close enough for buff. Yeah, well, that's exactly why I did that. I'm trying to see if I can give myself anything else that would be potentially good or useful that I can do with a bonus action. So give me just like two seconds to remember. Do you have what any good do. channel? Do you have any good channel divinities? Uh, I can make it scared and stay in place, maybe. And <laughs> that's about mm, it. Maybe. <laughs> what um, about? Uh, oh, just kidding. That was an action, so I can't even do that one. What about no. your amazing vow? Is that not bonus action? It is, but it just gives me advantage. Which I yeah. had earlier and don't really. Which you don't it. have any more. Yes. Yeah, but, yeah, but I can. Yeah, it's it it's not worth effect. using it this turn because if you haven't yeah, got a good bonus yeah. action to use anyway. Um, I was thinking of just giving myself shield of faith, but honestly, I'll just. It's fine because it's not gonna fucking save me with any saving throws, and I'll just try to take whatever it hits me with. All right, I'm gonna stand here and look intimidating. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> snarl at it like. <laughs> I'm sure that it'll care, but I'm, it's gonna make me feel better. <laughs> Remember, praying is a free action. I will pray as a free action. You're damn right. Try theory on help. Uh, save it is, I guess. Yeah, please. Save, save with buff. Oh my uh, god. Okay. <laughs> Grim just fucking Grim shakes did. that shit off. Grim He's like, shit. fuck that noise. I'm too cool. Like. It's like the, the ringing in your ears, you just grit your teeth. Um, although, I'm a little stuck here. Um, hmm. I guess the best I can do is try and throw some daggers at it. Okay. I'm just, uh, I mean, I'm just gonna, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna check yeah. goading attack real quick. Okay. Um,. Uh, Oh yeah, no, I'll definitely, I'll definitely do. Uh, if well, I need to, I need to actually hit for that. Yep. So yep. you pull out that a brace of war darts, just. <laughs> Whoosh. Well, I, I like well just... Hit. Oh, yeah. nice. Nice. Okay. So oh. the dart flies forwards, lands blade first on the armor, and just ricochets off. Ping, 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 ping. Oh, no. Yeah, so that's right about. Yeah, but you do get to make your girding attack though. Yeah. So wisdom saving throw. What do you yell? Um, I. What do I yell? That's a good question. Back here, big guy. <laughs> you came to the wrong fortress? Question mark. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I was gonna go with leave her alone, you bitch. Well, you know what? That, that works. But I, like, I don't want to use profanity. That's... That's you don't want to use profanity. profanity! Come on! <laughs> it's an Aliens reference, you have to. It's... I can't believe. It's fine. You don't want to use profanity. That is that is literally what Ripley says when she uses her goading attack to get the alien queen away from... Uh... Uh... Well then, you could you could go Shakespearean then, if you don't want to insult, and just call like, a villain's oh, no, I'll, instead. I'll happily say whatever. That, that's uh... yeah. That will work. No, I will. I will give credit to Grim. I think he probably swears the least out of our entire party. Yeah, probably. Like, like in character. Probably. Yeah, well, like out of character, but I didn't swear a lot either. That's also true. Yeah. Fine. Okay. So. Um, uh, oh, yeah. I assume that's the only thing you're gonna do. Uh, I can also make you know Kalaris swing again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Why not? And I'll, I'll back off slightly. You know what? You're, you're, I'm pretty sure you're getting him, Kalaris. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Don't have advantage, but I'll still. Yeah. Don't that worry. Swing anyway. Hit. You're only missing out on a single point of bonus damage. Fine. Okay. This thing, like, you're starting to really tear into this thing. Good. Uh, yeah, go. <laughs> It's okay, it's either gotta like try and step over all of us to fight Grim, or it's gotta hit you with disadvantage. Okay. Or I don't just like the noise Ferris just made. So it uh 
the creature look, looks hesitant for a second before like cocking its head to one side it pauses for a moment and then lunges forwards except as it lunges forwards it's uh, like a uh, a bluish rift in the air in front of you opens and it just goes vroom, vroom. oh my god excuse oh okay oh oh that's I hate this, that but that's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, the second thing that happens is... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, let's just copy the token for now. Uh, oh, that's less cool. Stomp, 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 <laughs> stomp, cool. stomp. <laughs> no. uh, this is fine. Is it? No, no, no it's not. Actually, it's really bad. This is fine. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, a, a second... Uh, construct appears around the corner and <laughs> prepares itself. Uh, oh, I need to roll to see if its screen recharges. No, oh, please. Uh, let's let's say no. We're going with no. Uh, I forgot to hang on. I need to unlink it. This is the problem with copying tokens. Unlink. Reset the HP. Save. Uh, okay, so. Hmm. It is... Mm, let me check the stunned ruling for a moment. What are you looking for? Uh, I'm just checking what the stunned rule is. Um, so it doesn't actually matter which of you it attacks, so it will attack the target that is capable of attacking it back. Uh, what? One, one bite and two claw attacks. Uh, 29, 19, 20. On who? You. Ah. Uh, I think that <laughs> was uh, just double checking my AC. I think the 19 hits as well. I, I think you have 19 AC. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, exactly 19, so it hit. Okay. Big fucking rip, my dude. Uh, okay, so you take. Ripperino. Uh, 12 piercing f and 27 slashing. Uh, which uh, is not reduced as oh. they, uh,. Uh, basically, when it hits you, you feel this um, electrically charged energy, like like conduct through your armor and through your body. Uh, its attacks are magical. I am slightly disappointed in them, but it's Wait, fine. Man, how's your health doing? Because I can't see your health bar. It's uh, less than half, but it's uh, more than oh, a quarter. Oh my fucking god! Okay. <laughs> Uh, the second one, seeing again that there's only one viable, well, one active target, it's going to do the same to Claris. Uh, uh, 19, 22, 16. Uh, only the 22 hits. Okay. Uh, 11 slashing damage to you as it rakes across the, the front of your plate armor. I really hope if I hit the right button. There we go. Uh, ah, yeah. Saving throw. Uh, oh, nope. oh my god! <laughs> Not even with a buff, that's gonna work. Oh my god! Oh, guys. <laughs> Elizabeth. Boy, I'm having so much fun. Anyway. Hey! Okay, you are back in it. Yay! Uh, however, that is at the end of your turn, so. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Thanks for rubbing it in. Uh, Go, Claris. Oh, okay. So the one that I was swinging my way into is now behind. Behind you, yes. Yeah. Now, okay. Um, and there's another one in front of you instead. Yeah. It's like chill. Come. It's not great. Is the problem. Hmm. Is there anything I can do? Well, shit. 
what I was hoping, what I wasn't ready for is a second one to appear, so that's great. Um, Okay, um, I think that my best option is to... I think it's just to hit the one in... It's gonna get an attack of opportunity, but I might just risk it. So I wanna hit the one in front of me a couple times, or attempt to at least. Okay. Um, and then I want to yell... Have I noticed that Elizabeth can move again? Um, yeah, I would say it looks like Elizabeth is coming out of it. Okay, uh, if I can yell to her, like, switch with me, because um, I want to try to get up in... Oh, fuck, actually, I don't know if that's a good idea. This is a bad idea. It's fine. Grib can handle that one. I'm just going to hit the one in front of me. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I think that I will... I think that I will just use my channel divinity because honestly, I think we need it at this point. Yeah. <laughs> we um, definitely do. Mark that down. Uh, make make that vow. My advantage, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, because this is not what Clarence does, but in my head I was picturing it like the point with like the, the two fingers to the eyes and that, yeah. and then, like drawing a <laughs> finger across the throat, but that's not what she does. Yeah. Um, it's, honestly, if Clarence ever does that to you, you're definitely dead. Yeah, it's like yeah. you're definitely in a bad place. No, like she just probably fucked. just says, like, you're not hurting my friends. Um, okay. And I'm going to do this wings. Maybe. Hit. Like, second one does not. Bad. Yeah, that's fair. Wow, that second one was sad. Um, God, I really don't want to blow all my spell slots, but this is kind of a time, huh? Um... I will do a s small smite. <laughs> okay. Itty bitty smite. Do a small smite. It's a tiny smite. Mm. Tiny smite. Babby smite. Really tiny smite. Oh my god. That is the babbiest ah. of smites. All right. Well, it's more like a love tap. Yeah, it's a love tap with a little bit of extra burn. They got oh, hit with like that paladin smite. <laughs> Twenty-four damage of love tap. That's. Yeah. So it could be worse, and I'll, I will definitely take it. So. Uh, Grim. Yeah. Okay, well, time to unleash the power of of the no. mace of smiting. Okay. Oh yeah, because it gets that stuff. Grim hefts the mace, just... One... <laughs> dunk! Hit! One, nice. two, three... Well, roll nice. the first one first. Okay, yeah, that's that fair enough. Yeah, that might just fuck it up. Maybe. Okay, that, because... I'm so, yeah. I'm okay, so it's still it. up after the first one. Uh, the second okay, one does what? not hit. It manages to dodge aside with oh. pre-natural pre reflexes. So it has more than 25 health left. Okay. Oh, well, like, like, so the second, like, eleven. you strike it, strike it with the first swing, knocking it aside. It dodges the third swing and goes in to bite you. And as it does so, you bring it up and just, like, hit it along this thing, and you hear again, once again this resounding like this resonant tone as this thing just goes ting, 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 and like the plates along the black just split up like and it just kind of clang <laughs> the sound effect yeah. is so good just, and it just kind of <laughs> um, and I will use good old Ferris okay. is just that dedicated to giving us an immersive experience. Nice. Apparently yeah. so. Well, if you don't do the sound effects, what's the point? What is yeah, the exactly. Point? Exactly. I what's the point in making more. cool robot enemies if you can't make the noise they make when they blow up? Yeah. You know, no, I totally fair. agree. I 100% agree. Um, yeah, there's no way I'm, I can fit myself in with Lyra. That's going to be a mess. So... Uh, you got this, Clarus, for now. I'll, uh, I'll make, I might make room the next go-around, but we'll see. Okay. The um, uh, the creature seeing seeing its ally fall is going to... Well, it's going to assess the situation and see that it doesn't 
look it to be in its favor anymore. So it is going to open its jaw plate. Ka-chunk. Yep. Damn it. This is so bad. Uh, I saw everyone, constitution saving throw, please. Uh, including the people who are stunned, because you need to save for damage. But. Mm. Oh, no! <laughs> makes it. Oh, I don't make that one. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Ev- oh, what's, what's the buff? Everybody. Uh, oh yeah, buff. I mine is already pre-added, so like I'm, okay. I'm fucked up. But like Elizabeth, I think should I think hopefully makes it with a twenty. Uh oh. Okay, so it's it's plus three. Cool. Plus three. Uh, it is plus three unless I hold on. Wait. Now I'm questioning all my. Yeah, it is a plus three. Okay, <laughs> so Elizabeth and Grim are not stunned and only take half <sighs> of this. Oof. Okay, cool. Twenty-two Let's with thunder damage. Uh, everyone else takes yeah, 22 thunder damage and is stunned, but if you're stunned already, it doesn't stack. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thunder, uh, you weren't thunder, it's not, not, uh, it's, no, it's, li- it's lightning. lightning damage, not thunder damage. Yeah, it's not the same in this uh, world. Oh yeah, save. <laughs> Are you saved? No, no, uh, it's, for, it's, turn, it's, it's the oh, start of right. your turn, ends your turn, save. Again. Yeah, save save at the end of your turn to not be stunned. Come on. That is enough with Kalaris' aura. Roll for Lyra. Yes. <laughs> Aya is free. Oh, no, Lyra is still why stunned. Are going, why are you rolling like shit right now, my girl? Oh. Uh, so, Elizabeth. Um. Well, I was going to try and hopefully, you know, do some... Uh, trap busting so we can keep moving, but um, our front line is uh, out. Um, so I need I mean, to do something a bit fightier. Deal with the yeah. Let's deal with the threat, maybe. I just had a horrible thought, and I don't want to say it out loud in case. Don't I say it out loud. Not until the end of this fight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I am gonna try to cast hold monster on it. Okay. Because give, me, give me the description of Hold Monster. Checked, because I checked the uh, spell description and it doesn't specify anything about it being uh, ineffective on constructs. So okay. I imagine it It only says it has no effect on undead. Uh, so, you cast the spell, you watch the magic form around it, but it just does not take. It ah. is immune to being paralyzed. Yeah, that's yeah, a shame. Right. Worth a shot. And then I'm going to go... I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Bye. I won't. <laughs> uh, I won't. Yep. Uh, Claris, roll to save. What up? Uh, fuck. No. Nope. nope. Okay. Grim. Fantastic. I feel like we're gonna have to make room over here. Yeah. Um. Can I get into Claris' square and shove her back? Damn. Sure. As the um... okay. Uh, do I need to make a contested athletics check, or I guess she automatically fails all of those. So um, I or, or forgot... automatically fail strength and dex save. Oh no, I guess it's not a save. Um, for for purposes of combat fluidity, I will say it just works. Okay. Uh, but it'll, yeah, it'll cost you your shove. Yes. Well, uh, so yeah, I guess swap. I can use my. I, I finally get to use my bonus action shove again. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's the, the best oh. thing about the shield yep. blaster so far. Um, but now, feel the wrath of so, yeah. my base. Yeah, K- Kalaris, like in as your head is splitting from this sonic. Like wave, you feel something smack you in the shins, and you stumble to retain your feet, your footing, as Grim <laughs> takes your place. Oh my god! I, I, I do. I feel like this may warrant uh, my belt, so I will use my action surge to also okay belt up. Belt up. Uh, yeah. Bullum, bullum, bullum. <laughs> come on! I, need all the I think you mean come on. <laughs> No. Because Bye. everybody knows when you are enlarged, Bye. your voice gets deeper. <laughs> yeah, because that's okay. totally how that works. Uh, cool. Uh, 
so that is 23. Yeah, uh, so yeah, just two resounding strikes across this creature's torso, just tong tong. The third one just swings and it just like Arr. grabs the mace head and just knocks it aside. Work right. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you've you've got between it and its prey. Um, it can't do that well. Oh well. First of all, roll for recharge. It does not recharge. Oh, thank God. Good. <laughs> Brain is a free action. Uh, yep. <laughs> can I pray when I'm stunned? That's a thing I can do, right? Uh, yeah, but you can only pray falteringly. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> as long oh. as you're not- I mean, I don't know, do you, do, you, do you speak aloud when you pray? Well, it's in your head, but I imagine it's affected by the same rule. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want to half-ass pray like, Criterion, who do you think yeah, I like, Yeah, I was like, uh, I assume a 16 doesn't hit, but a 20 and a 25 do, Grim? Uh, yes. Okay, you take... 28 slashing damage. Um, I will try and reduce one of those with my parry. Okay. That was not a great Ting. roll. That's a very <laughs> sad parry. <laughs> so it was an attempt. Well, so you, you bring the shield up to parry and you feel the claws like dig into your arm, but you reduced some of the damage. Uh, oh yeah, Something. you are back in it. <laughs> Finally! Yeah, Alright, me and Lyra are gonna swap these here. Yeah, you got to push Lyra. And then... I got Frostbrand. Oh, yeah. Technically, to push her would take your action. So you'll have <sighs> to move into the space with her, but it, it just means just roll the dice again. Okay. Because it's technically with disadvantage. Oh! oh. <laughs> No. Wait, does it not cancel out because oh do they have to attack the same target or is it just with it when they're within range of each other? Uh I think it's uh, you have let's to attack have the same a target. Because that may make a difference and it may just make it a flat roll. Uh mm. it, yes, that is a good point. It is spirit animal. Uh, animal aspect. Also, Arya, maybe at that point worth it to just move through the damn thing. <laughs> when you and your companion are both within five feet of a hostile creature, other creatures have advantage on melee attacks. Uh, oh. oh wait, no, hang on. That's not. That's not the right one. It's yeah, that doesn't sound right. Like that sounds different. Oh, choose any number of creatures within reach of both you and your companion. Uh, so you have to act. Yeah, you mark them with your primal guidance. Uh, because you are within five feet of each other. So you can make it a flat roll if you mark it with primal guidance. Okay, gonna uh, do that. Okay. Okay, so you mark it. Uh, so it does hit with your 21. Uh, and Good you deal point. an extra 1d8 of damage. Roll an extra d8. So that's 15. Oh, oh 16. That's a, that's a sad extra d8. <sighs> but it's still oh, an extra damage. It is still extra damage. Uh, <laughs> it unfortunately takes half the damage from the cold. Oh. Because uh, it is resistant to cold damage, being oh, a robot. Shit. And uh, end of your turn, Lyra, make a saving throw. Nope. 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 <laughs> One day we'll get there. Although, hang on. Oh, actually, that's a sixteen, right? Oh, that's not enough. Yeah, it's still it's sixteen is not enough. I just. I could have sworn there was a thing that your creature gets. From... Oh no, that was I think that was the old one where it had advantage on some saving throws. Uh, I think it no, it gained proficiency in all. Oh saving yeah, proficiency throws, in saving throws. That was it. Yeah. That was what it got. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth. Okay. Um. Yeah, they both look very very bad over there. Yep. So. Using deductions for the fact this is a robot. I predict that certain things will not do too well. So, we're going to cast a magic missile. Okay. Uh, what level do we want to do a magic missile at? I think I want to do a magic missile at 4th level. Okay. Roll a 4th level magic missile for me. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's it's because it's the automatic right. one. <laughs> no, yeah, because it's automatic, yeah. so it's like doing it one at a time. Whatever, it's six missiles. I guess you can roll it and take time. Yeah. Wow, the messiest way to do this. God. Yeah, it's it is. Pretty bad. Six, nine. That's, oh, I'm going to start adjusting it now. I 13. Forgot that it did that 20. 20. That's a decent magic missile. You watch armor plates dent and buckle under the barrage. Is that everything? Yeah. Uh, yes. Claris, save please. Uh, character sheet, please open. It's just getting nope. worse. It's just getting worse. <laughs> Grim. Um, okay, well, it's time to continue the, the onslaught, hopefully. Come on, I could really use one of them crits. Okay, uh, um, second two hit, first one does not. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, that was a Oof. bad one. Sad face, two nat ones. Oh, but like, it didn't get nat ones on the, the other one, the so that's fine. Now. Yeah, also, yeah. Yeah, the first attack was still right. Okay, yeah, another two crushing blows against the plate. Clang, clang! Although, I still have a lot to work through. <laughs> Um, um, we all kind of... Oh, here. actually, I can try shove it back now. Uh, oh, yes, because you are you no longer two slice two Oh, but, slice then, no, but then Lyra would not be in range anymore. Yeah, but I would be able to move. Consider flanking. Yes. <laughs> Consider <laughs> the coconut. Yeah, but yeah. I can, can I get that. through? I don't think I can actually get through. No, no but I, I could. Earlier. No, actually, Grim, oh. you could, because you'd move 20 to get to there, and then you'd move 5 to get out of its space. Oh, that's very true, yes. You oh, could. I didn't realize I could do that. Uh, I'm a fool. Yeah, because that's what I was doing earlier, was dancing yep. underneath it, basically. Uh, Which is wild, it's... because I'm fucking tall, but... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I should have done that before I started swinging, but that's fine. Yeah. That's yeah, fine, we know now. Um, that means, uh, means Aya gets buff. Yeah. Uh, it's going to pick on the target that it thinks is weakest, so it's two against, three against Grim. Uh, wow. 13 Happily. doesn't hit. Nope. Uh, 24 and a 25. Yeah, those, those are fine. Uh, 29 slashing damage. Mm. Uh, and... Okay. <laughs> You uh, you hear a uh, like a a low whining sound just go. Whoo. Mm. Bad. Very bad. 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 Uh, oh yeah. Not in the best of shapes. Oh god. Oh. I just realized I should be making all our skill check that this advantage again. We're still exhausted. I don't think that hits. Uh, that is not. Uh, though, you are still within 5 feet of Lyra, so if you still have it marked, you can have advantage. Oh, that's true. Yeah, also, yeah, move off move off of Lyra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, m move out of Lyra's space, because then you will actually get advantage. No, nope. you have to move yourself. Oh, yeah. But, no, she's just got the exact same roll. No. Nope. Well. Cool. That sucks. How sad. That really does suck. Mm. Uh, Lyra, saving throw at end of turn. Come on, Lyra. Come on, Lyra! <laughs> Nope. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> like it's not because that her rolls are awful. It's just like Rough. an eighteen is hard to beat. It's not even an eighteen. <laughs> no, but it's a, it, she rolled seven. Oh, she got seventeen, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. You need to beat a nineteen. Or yeah. Or, or match maybe a nineteen. Even a yeah. Eight, basically, we know eighteen fails and twenty succeeds. So either yeah. it's twenty or nineteen. Well, regardless. Uh, Elizabeth. Cool. Um, do I hear the, the sort of the... Um, the yeah, I'll, I'll say it's loud enough that you can hear it. Okay, cool. Because that means there's only one reaction Elizabeth's going to have. Which is she's going to Misty Step all the way over here. Okay. Start clearing the way. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, I can't do two spells in a turn, can I? We said that's a no-no. Oh. 
Um, uh, Misty Step is a bonus yeah. action, though, isn't it? So you can do yeah. a cantrip. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. That's my, yeah. That was my, that's what I meant. So, um, Firebolt it is. Firebolt on the robot. Okay. So, whoosh, it's a really good job you Misty Stepped, as uh, the entire red field here combusts. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, at least now we know it's flammable uh, gas. Nobody yep, is in the splash playable. radius, so... <laughs> Except the yeah. corpse of that other thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, bits of scrap metal of that thing. Uh, so roll damage. Cool. Oh, that's what I should do. That's really sad. <laughs> so, yeah, just a small burn mark is left on the armor plating. That's really sad. Uh, Colorus. Hi. Save. Nope. <laughs> it literally just keeps getting worse. I just. <laughs> uh. Grim. Mm. Dear Uncle Tritherion, please help me do better on my console. Uh, <laughs> oh, looking great. Um, I just had a, I just realized something that we can't really do. I could basically, if I succeed all my checks, I could shove this thing into the red zone. But I'd we'll have to shove it through you guys, which... That sounds bad. That sounds really bad. Also, I am kind of getting to the point where I'm a little concerned about my well-being. <laughs> um... Really? Hmm. I mean, my, my wondering was, could we bait it over to this zone? Uh, yeah, but that's, I think it's a little too far away. I... I'm gonna start off by. Oh, do I? Yeah, you know, I'll risk it. I'm just gonna swing. Oh, and I get advantage now. Yep. I think I think we just have to come risk on. It risk I it. need the good stuff. Hit. Decent. Come on, Grim. Come on, one more. Oh no, that's oh, not good. double natural ones. Fuck. Fuck okay. my life. Oh, God. This is uh, that's not ideal. But that is immensely oh. sad. That is really painful. It is really, really painful. Yeah. I just really. But hey, yeah. otherwise. No, it's fine. Carry on. Uh... Um, and then. I will. Uh. This may not seem great, but um, I'm gonna try and shove it back into. Um, uh, Lyra and Arya a little. Okay. Um. Uh, let's hope this works. Oh, I. Don't get advantage, I think. Uh, it beats you, so it does not. You push against it, and it just, like, leans oh, into you. Oh, no, I do get advantage, but not that that's enough. Yeah, still well. fails. Hmm. Well, time to brace for impact. Okay. It turns, oh. swings with a claw at Grim. 17. Me? Does not hit. Second claw. 16. Oh my god. <laughs> Bite. 22. Oh, Damn it. No. 15 piercing damage. I'm going to parry that. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Grim, you beast. I'm up. I swear to god. I'm still up. Oh um. my god. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, Grim's a monster. <laughs> Grim is never going down, alright? No, she don't save that! We have to get out of this first. <laughs> Do I still get a plus eight? Or, uh... You also have advantage, so roll it again. Yep. Mm. Could have been a crit. Rob, do I still roll an eight? Uh, D8. Uh, yes. Uh, so that's 19. Still up, Elizabeth. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry. Yeah, save. Ah, oh, fucks. Nope. Uh, <laughs> Elizabeth. Lyra, um, please. Uh... Funny thing is, in two rounds, uh, Lyra stun will expire organically. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, like, at least she won't be stunned anymore. Yeah, that's true. It's the small victories. Yeah. Um. Oh. I 
wonder if... It's slightly too far away though, because I teleported away to be out of range of the thing. Um... guess I will go with another magic missile. Okay. But at third level this time. Okay. Pew pew. Okay. Cool. Kalaris? Mm. Yeah. This thing is looking pretty dinged up. Yeah, I mean, I can't. No, <laughs> I just, gotta, I just gotta go sit down in the corner in my room. <laughs> Grim, I believe in you guys. Uh, you can do it. Well, I feel like if I don't kill it now, then this will be the day. Um, don't say that. But let's see. Okay, oh, roll me some damage. Grim. Uh, okay, so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> so, <laughs> with with its jaws clamped oh. around your shield, blood streaming from your forehead, you swing the mace upwards and connect it with the side of this creature's oh head. Oh my god! And watch as like the resonating strike just goes, and just the head just. Tears from the body. Oh, still fuck. attached to your shield. I needed that real bad. <laughs> I oh. not believe that Grim has not got down yet. Oh. I had eight times yes, the required right. amount of health. At the end, at least. So, I mean, while Elizabeth's standing, she sees this and literally just straight up goes, Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> That's what Grim! Think... I think Grim will sit down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just like the the head like weighs your arm down to the point you're just like, yeah, I'm just gonna take a break. <laughs> this is this is good enough. Uh, okay. Grim's just this is fine as he sits still. <laughs> so uh, yeah, oh. as some um, as you like fall to the ground, um, Lyra comes out of this. Stunned stupor. Claris is still like there, head reeling for a few more seconds until she manages to, to shake it off. Um, but yeah. Uh, as soon as I shake it off, I'd like to pick my way around this big fucking corpse and be like, hey Grim, you look pretty rough, yep. buddy. <laughs> um, I've, I've, I've been better. Um, yeah. yeah. I was wondering if this was going to be the day we saw you go uh, take a knee. Uh, take a uh, knee. Not, not for them. They don't deserve it. He says, like breathing a... profusely from the forehead. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna start with a cue. The entire front oh. of his uh, his armor is now just crimson. Yeah. It's... Uh, if I click this, can I upcast it? Nope. It did not do the thing I wanted it to do. All right. I was trying to do cure wounds, but for some reason that broke itself. Don't know how that happened. Mm. Eh, it's fine. Um, oh well. I need to remember how to upcast this. Well, while it's doing D8 that, per level, um, I think. Okay. While they're doing that, I'm gonna smash some more thingies first on the uh, clearly close, slider close trap door. Okay. Um, so I, again, make me the um dexterity check to just avoid uh, yeah. or dexterity save to avoid uh, taking damage. Mm. Oh yeah, you guys. Yeah, as, as say, yeah. Do you want me to do a save or a check? A save. Um, because yeah, technically Good. all your checks should be a disadvantage, and we keep forgetting. Oh yeah, yeah. Because everyone has a, uh, a fatigue. I'll roll it again then. Exhaustion. No, no, that's a save. That's fine. Oh. Uh... It's just checks, not saves. Oh yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you managed to break them all again without taking any damage. Um, cool. Oh, take that health. I. Um, mm. I'm just gonna use the rest of my lay on hands and probably regret this later when we need to like cure a poison <laughs> or something. Uh, take 15 more. Okay. Uh, I'll yeah. take 54. Uh, I could dump another spell slot, but it'll be one of my last two. I mean, don't we have? Do we have potions? 
Uh, we do, I but guess. like those. But they're good, I like th- emergency. If like the, I think the the main problem with potions is they don't really heal that much right now. Like if I were to drink a regular potion, that's what is that? Like if I rolled, f- like it's forty four plus four. Yeah. No. Uh, two d four plus two for regular. Oh, for uh, a regular one. I should have yeah, okay, just fair. done Aura Vitality and then just done that for a minute, but you know what, it's fine. Eh, don't worry about it. No. Um... Well, we should uh, we should probably try to get past these traps. Yeah. Can I also um, smash the one that smash the ones for this above trap? Uh, so for the area above you, uh, make me an investigation check. Cool. Destroying the orbs is a trap. No. Okay, so there are no orbs. Oh. That's That's just the red lights. Just the red lights. (laughs) Excuse? Don't like that. I mean, does it look like there's any way of disarming the traps on the other side? Uh, From here... It doesn't look like there's anything. There's no immediately obvious lever or anything like that within Investigation of 15. Yeah. Well, we should probably go help a little um, Yeah. I will say, within Investigation of 15, there is what looks like a. Uh, a black panel set into the wall behind the next set of traps, or the next area of okay. red light. Okay. So where's the black panel, did you say? Uh, just on the wall, further up beyond it. Up there. Okay, well yeah, Elizabeth's just gonna, in that case Elizabeth's gonna say, I think I can see a panel, I'm gonna go, gonna quickly teleport over there, see if that's anything to do with these traps. I guess and nobody's tried to run over this yet, I guess. Yeah, and I'm gonna misty stuff over there. I guess I might as well be the first for once. Rim. That seems like uh, not a good idea. No. Surely really, it should be someone with a high dex. He did it already. He's so- yep, he's already done uh, it. Okay, so you begin to run across this, and yep. right as you do so, it drops from underneath you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Make me an athletics check with disadvantage. Oh, Grim. Because you are exhausted. Why would you do this? Well, because like, there wasn't any other way for me to get across anyway. Kalaris well, literally could have yeeted you across. That's also uh, Jerk gonna be trying to eat your Uh wait, disadvantage. There we go. Yeah. So no advantage. Um Fletics. Oh. That's not the worst. Okay. It's not bad for disadvantage. Actually. So mm. you watch as Grim sprints out, gets about five feet, the floor drops out from underneath him, and Literally, he has to 180 in the air, turn around, and grab oh the edge. My God. Uh, oh my God. As he uh, is. Can I pull him up? <laughs> so, yeah, as you reach down to grab his arm to pull him up, you look underneath and uh, essentially see what is a large number of rotating blades. Oh, oh my God. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I could use a hand. Yeah, no, 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 I got you. Yeah, Maybe he he, he, he is now small, so he is easy to pick up. <laughs> I could pick him up anyway, it's fine. <laughs> I need to be confident, that was very scary. So what is so what is this panel? Okay, uh, give me an investigation check. With disadvantage? With disadvantage, yes. Fuck. Okay. Oh, hey, it's still better than the other. All, all um, other investigation checks. So you sort of you look at it. You can't see anything about it. You sort of like run your fingers like around the outside of it, and as soon as you bring your hand close to it, um, uh, something illuminates on it that looks like a handprint. Oh. Oh, it's probably gonna want want Liam's handprint though. Laughing, not Liam. 
Yeah, Lotherman. Leoman has a Lathaman. tiny hut. Yeah, Leoman's got a tiny hut. Hey, it's a adequately sized hut. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's never had any complaints. Uh, wow. My God. Look, it's not it's not the size that matters. It's how you use it. God, I hate all of you. <laughs> but I uh, don't. It's better than pitching a tent, right? Look, I like. <laughs> <Stop! that. laughs> Thank you. Look, I will have you guys know I am very fond of Leoman's tiny hut. Anyway. Anyway. I hate um, all of you individually and collectively. Uh, well, I mean, I might as well try it. Okay. You lay your hand on it. Uh, uh, you take eight lightning damage. Yes. As, yeah, you lay your hand on it and... Uh, do I well, see that happen from all the way down the hallway, or do I hear the lightning? I mean, you probably you probably hear Elizabeth going, ah! Yep. What did you think was going to happen? Well, I mean, that, I but break. worth a shot. Just give Tell me a, a little zap. So, how are we going to start yeeting people across- my, Nope, Clarice does not um, say yeet. How are we yeah. going to start getting people across this gap? Well, see, there is oh, one actually, alternative to yeeting. Um, run and jump, right? Well, I was more considering a grappling hook with rope. Oh, also that. I mean, we could do both. I, I feel I... like the run and jump option is a lot more dangerous. Well... Yeah, I wouldn't run and jump. It's a bit well, far. Has it, um, has it come back at this point, or is it still... Um, oh yeah, so thir yeah, 30 seconds after it drops, it slides back up again. Okay. Uh, second question. I always forget the rules for jumping in D&D. So do I. Uh, oh, um, <laughs> we always have to look this up because it's the worst. Yeah, we'll never see what we're again. Long, okay, long jump. Uh, you cover but... a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet on foot immediately before the jump. Yeah. When you make a standing oh, long jump, you can close. only leap half that distance. Uh, may involve a athletics check to clear a low obstacle, no taller than a quarter of the jump's distance. Uh, may involve an, yeah. an acrobatics check to so... land on your feet. Okay. Being being twenty feet in distance, the only person who can make the jump with a standing with a running long jump is Kalaris. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're gonna go for the rope and uh, hook option potentially. Okay. Um, I guess the real problem is we don't know what what's in the ne in the next area. Right, because Elizabeth isn't triggered at all, right? Nope. Okay. And also there's no, um... Yeah, because I just read as well, she she knew, she knows this but didn't say it. She's, she, so she, I guess she's saying it now if this is a character. There's no uh, there's no orbs on this last one. Concerned. Right. See, that's why I kind of wanted to risk it and just see if this would work. Uh, yeah, well... Actually, look, I'm just gonna... I want to test something. I grab a pickaxe out of the bag and... Yep. And swing at the wall. Okay. Just how just at big, the wall. Like, I'm just gonna see like how much damage does it do? Is like, it's gonna, are you just gonna start digging through the wall? No, I think to anchor the, the grappling hook is what you're thinking. Yeah, I was like thinking, uh... if, like, um, if we can make like some holes, we can maybe do something. So you you swing a pickaxe at the wall, and uh, yeah, it would have the same effect you would expect a pickaxe hitting a stone wall. A chunk of it comes out. Okay, good. I was worried these walls weren't regular walls. Um, it yeah, it it from from the damage, it is stone wall, but it seems to have metal reinforcements at regular intervals. Oh, that's actually even better. Um, it would, uh, although that said, I'm not sure how we're gonna. Oh, this to the other Guys, side. I know how we do the trap. The trap yeah. door, that is. So, okay. So I can innately cast Levitate. But it doesn't specify in my, you know, innate casting of Levitate that it has to be on myself. No, that is correct. So... Kolaris and Arya could teleport across, and Grim could float across. 
carrying the dog. Yeah, but then if we need carrying the dog. Carrying or the dog could float across carrying Graham. Uh, I feel like that would cause. You have one to of us move to fall. by dragging yourself along the wall, but it work. Also, I think a bigger problem is if we use teleport on something as trivial as a twenty foot gap. Um, what are we going to do for the next one? So, um, See, I, I have just a plan for idea. myself. I have a plan for myself, but it won't help anybody else get across. Is the problem? <sighs> okay. And I was trying to think, is there something we well, can use here's what, to no, fucking here's what we're gonna do. bridge the gap? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm go like, I'm gonna give you the climbing kit, or okay. one of the climbing kits, and a pickaxe. So you can secure, uh, you, can, you can make a secure point on the other side, and then I'll, like, I'll toss the, I'll toss you the grappling hook, uh, with the rope attached, so we can, like, secure it to the, to the anchor. I'll do the same on this side, and that's how we'll climb across. Then we just need one person to get across somehow. Okay. Well, like, well alright. At least I assume we can anchor something with the... Like, like we can create an, a proper anchor with the climbing kit. It's Hopefully. gonna be difficult. It is a solid stone wall, but you can certainly try. Well, like, that's why is we there, is bring there along the pickaxe. I was gonna say, is there not something we can use to try and bridge the gap? For like, what... Time to check all of our items. While we do that, should we take a short break? Yeah, uh, let's. Sure. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Oh, what if we?